and we are live. Good evening, everybody, or good morning, good afternoon, whereabouts you are in the world. Thank you very much for joining us. As always with these live streams, please let us know in the chat if you can hear us and see us okay. And welcome to a three-player playthrough of Tindaya. Um, we're going to be playing a three-player competitive game today. This is a one-to-four player game. There is a cooperative mode, there's a competitive mode. There's a variant rule, which there could be a traitor in the Third Age. We're not using that today, um, but we are going to be playing through a full three-player game. And we're going to be teaching you how to play the game. I'm joined by Rob. Hello. And JP. Hello. And we've spent the day learning it. We've played a full game of it this afternoon. And what we're going to be doing today is, as I say, we're going to be playing through the game, but we're going to be teaching you how to play the game as we play through it. Now, a few things to get out of the way before we start. This is a prototype copy of the game. It's a very nice looking prototype. Mm. Um, and it is almost final, but there are a few things graphically which have changed uh, and have been improved since this version was printed. So this isn't the final final version of the game. The other thing is that we are playing the game with the rules as they are at the moment. Now, I don't think the rules are going to change, but just a caveat, this is going on Kickstarter next week. So if you're watching this and then if you get this game when it comes out in a year's time and you think, wait a minute, Paul taught me the rules wrong. The rules are correct at the time of filming this video, and the designer of the game is in the chat, so he will point out uh, if we make any mistakes. Um, other thing before we start, just a couple of other things. Um, if you are looking for a, a pure how to play video and not a playthrough video, uh, then Pete over at Modern Cardboard has done one. Go and Google it, uh, Modern Cardboard. Pete does great how to play videos on his channel, and his is a, is a, is a pure how to play video, and I watched that earlier on today to help me learn how to play. Right. I think we're good to go. Rob sound, uh, uh, Rob sound fine. Excellent. You're sounding fine, Rob. Yep. Always good to be told. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we go. we've set up the game already. What we have is we have the main board, which is this button here. Um, these are basically C tiles which we've laid out, and there's no strict rules on how you lay them out, apart from there can't be two volcanoes touching each other. Now, what you two don't know is that the other these tiles are two sided. The other um, side of the tiles have red volcanoes on, and they are slightly harder because of the board layout. Yeah. Okay, so the other, if you use the red ones, and you can use a mix and match, but we're using all of the black volcanoes today. But you can build this board however you want to build it. There are also terrain tiles. Now, this is the card we are using uh, for a three-player game, and it tells us that we are playing with 14 forests, 10 shores, and 8 mountains. We take those tiles and then we basically choose where they go. As long as every island has at least one of each. Other than that, you are free to build the board however you want to. So we've, we've built the board like this. Um, as you can see, we have eight separate islands and each one has at least one hex of each terrain, but some of the islands have more than one. The other thing we've done is we've decided turn order. JP is the first player, Rob is the second player, I'm the third player. Uh, and we have chosen where our initial settlements go. So this is done in player order, uh, with player one choosing where they start, then player two, then player three, then player one, then player two, then player three. So we've done that. And then you decide where the conquistadors start. We'll go into the theme again in, in, a, in a minute, but the conquistadors start off somewhere on the board. And they start off down here, which just happens to be right next to where <laughs> I am. Um, so we've done that at the start. We have on this board, um, we have two scoring cards. So there is one card taken from this deck and one card taken from this deck. We're using one card from each deck at random. Uh, they are placed there. And over on the other board, uh, we have the two offering piles. So they're visible. We have the event deck. We're playing on the easy level today. Those easy, medium and hard. Uh, we have these two piles which are currently face down, but we'll, re we'll be revealing those in a little bit. Is there anything else from setup? Oh, tribes. Yeah. We, we shuffled the tribe cards and we've each chosen a tribe at random. That gives us a special ability throughout the game and it also tells us what our starting resources are. In terms of what things on here we start with, that's based on the player count. So if you just zoom in on my player board, you can see that in a three player game we use this card. It basically tells player one which trades they know at the start of the game and how advanced they are. Player two and player three. So if you look at my player board, because I'm I'm player three, I start the game with the knowledge to grow crops, so this is unlocked, uh, and also the knowledge to breed goats, which is why this is unlocked. And it also tells me that I, my goat breeding farming abilities 
have been improved. So everywhere that you see uh, a cube or a, or a cylinder, that means I haven't unlocked that yet. The discs actually represent resources. So at the start of the game, I start the game with one salt, uh, one fish, one of these roasted wheat and one clay over here. I've also started with some resources here. I start the game with three wood, one stone and two obsidian. And that is because when you place your initial settlements on the board, you get the tile that was on that space. You flip it over and it tells you what you get. OK, so I think that is all of the setup done. Let's tell you a little bit about the game. This is Tindaya, um, which is uh, based on apparently it's the Canary Islands. And it's what's happening is that we have to appease the gods. So there are two gods in this game. Let's just get their names right. Uh, Maniba, who's the sea goddess, uh, and Akoran, probably mispronounced their names. But one of the things that we're doing in this game, and you can see the two gods that are here, is these two tracks are how angry the god is with us. And if we do things that make the god happy, this track is going to go up. If we do things that upset the... Sorry, it goes down if we if we make them happy. If we do things that upset them, it goes up. Now, the top space of each one, you'll notice this little uh, icon. Um, if it ever gets to there at the end of a round, then all players lose the game. So there is an end game condition, which means that all players lose the game. Nobody wins whatsoever if either of the tracks go to there. But yes, we've got these two, goddess, uh, two gods, and they are going to be... Um, they are going to be challenging us because they are going to be doing things in each age, uh, which is something that we will want to see in advance. And we're going to try and play to make sure they're OK. But we also have those pesky conquistadors that are arriving. As I say, two of them have already arrived here. And if there are too many of those at the end of the game, we all lose. So at the end of the game, if you look on this board here, we look on the three player line based on how many people we have on the board tells us how many conquistadors there can be. Now, in the game that we just played this afternoon, we were very close to this. We ended up with, I think, 18 people on the board, which means we can have a maximum of eight conquistadors. We had seven. So two more, and we would have lost the game. So this is also something that we are collectively trying to do, is we are trying to uh, get, get rid of the conquistadors that are obviously arriving to try and colonise the island. However, this is the competitive version of the game. So ultimately, it's the player with the most points that wins. The points are going to be tracked on here, and you will see that the score track only goes up to 18. And how many points did you get in the last game? Uh, 16. 16. So 16 in the last game was a winning score. So when, when we, we say in this game, oh, if you do that, you get one point, might not sound like much, but one point is, is quite a lot. Um, as I say, the design is in the chat, so if you have any questions uh, about the game, then feel free to ask him or any questions about the upcoming Kickstarter or, or anything like that. Um, the Kickstarter isn't live yet, but I will put a link to the Kickstarter in the description of the video. So if you're watching this uh, next week, I'll, I'll put a link to the Kickstarter in it. Right. We've done the setup. Are we, yep. are we ready to go? I think so. I think, I think we, we are. are. Yeah. So the game is played over three ages. Each age is divided into three phases. There's the strategy phase where we reveal some stuff and do a little bit of setup. The action phase, where we're going to be taking it in turns to do actions uh, until we've all passed. And then we do the end of era phase. Now, the end of era phase, a lot happens. There are 10 different things that happen, and we're going to go through those at the end of the era. And as I say, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be explaining the game to you as we go along. So by the end of the first age, you will have seen most of the rules of the game. Most of the rules of the game, you won't have seen the volcano, which happens in age two and is very cool. <laughs> so let's go through the strategy phase. The first thing is we look at the event card. Now, because we're playing on beginner level, this is the event card for age one. And it basically tells us uh, in the event phase, which is part of the end of era um, phase, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be resolving Maniba's card. Is that how you pronounce the name again? I keep forgetting. I think so. Maniba? I can't remember. <laughs> Maniba, yeah. So we're going to resolve her card first. Then there's going to be a tsunami. Then we're going to resolve the white conquistador ship. And then we're going to resolve a Koran's card. Now, in the first age of the game, these cards are going to be revealed. That means we know exactly what they're going to be doing. However, 
there is a possibility that these cards will be face down in an era, which means you don't actually know what they're going to be doing. Now, that's not as random as it sounds. That is player driven. Mm -hmm. Basically, we have two seers here and the seers are even named. Um, and it is up to us to provide those seers with fire to give them the ability to see uh, visions in the smoke and determine what the prophecies are going to be for the next round. If we don't do that, then these cards will remain face down, which means we could get hit by a bit of a surprise. Uh, we're also going to take a card from uh, this deck as well. This is the other prophecy. This is going to tell us where these things happen. Okay, uh, except for the ship. So at this point, what we do is if there is a ship on the card, which there is, we roll the die matching the ship to see where the, the ship is going to go. So it's the white conquistador ship. It's a one. I'll destroy this island. Okay, so the white conquistador ship. Now these come with nice little standees, but because we're playing with an overhead camera, we're just going to lie these down. Or it also must be said that these boards here, we've got them flat, but actually they actually stand at an angle like this, which look really nice, but we've got them flat so that you can see what's going on. But yeah, there's a 3D stand that make them sort of look good. Um, so where's where's the ship appearing? One. So we're looking for chasm number one. Chasm, one, chasm number one is yeah. here. So we know that the, conquist the white conquistador ship is here. And at the end of the age, when we resolve the events, this ship is going, the conquistadors are going to land at the nearest island and they're going to try and take over all of the settlements on that island. So at the moment, if nothing changes, the conquistadors are going to land here. And because there's no settlements, there's not going to be any fighting, but they're going to build a fort. If one of us had a settlement here, we would get attacked. Mm -hmm. Okay. The next thing we do is, because this is age one, we reveal both of the prophecies. Now, we haven't seen these prophecies yet. So we don't know what they are. Rob, if you can reveal them, I will look them up in the rule book to see what they are. That looks like a wildfire to me. It does. Mm -hmm. So a Coran's thing is fire. Originated by lightning and fanned by the wind, the flames spread quickly. In just a few hours, their hunger consumes all trees on the island. So what it does is it removes all pig farms and all wood raw material tokens from the islands within its impact ratio. All pigs and all natives on them die. Okay, so yeah, it's gonna kill pig farms, which are a type of settlement, and any, anybody that's in them, and it's also gonna remove all wood tokens uh, from there. Right, meanwhile, Maniba's card is... The locusts. It's the locusts. They're Huge again. brown balls travel across the surface of the ocean and move towards the island. As soon as they reach land, they turn into millions of insatiable insects. Remove all crops on the island, but there's no effect on the population. Now, this one, you'll notice, has these circles around it. That means you can actually protect against this by spending fire. So if you've got one of these crop uh, settlements on the island, you can protect it by spending fire for every settlement that you want to protect. Okay, now, these are going to happen at the end of the round, but the next thing to do is the other prophecy. Because in age one, you reveal both of those cards, and you also reveal one of these cards... Do you want to pick one? Uh, sure. Okay, this is going to tell us where they are. So do you want to reveal it? Yeah. Okay, so for age one, we want Maniba on volcano number three. <clears throat> Where's she gone? Uh, she's run off. She's run off. We've misplaced her. Here she is. Volcano <laughs> number three. Okay. Ooh, right. Um, Next, oh, no, okay. we have the tsunami on chasm number six. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, we have Acheron on volcano number four. And we have the volcano. We don't have the volcano. So although there's a volcano here, if you actually look at the event card, there is no volcano printed on this event card. Now, just as a reminder, we are playing on the easy difficulty today. I'm just going to show you, if we were playing on the super hard difficulty, that might be the card we're using which means you can see that we've actually got three Conquistador ships. So yeah, these cards scale depending on how hard you want the game to be. But no volcano on the first uh, first age. So what we've got is we have, we have, we've placed these characters on the board. So I'm just going to tell you now very quickly how this works. Um, let's talk about Acheron's 
power. We've said that this is uh, wildfire, which is going to destroy all pig farms on islands within his impact, uh, impact area. And his current wrath level determines what that area is. So you'll, if you look carefully, you've got three colours on here. You've got yellow, you've got orange, and you've got red. If his marker is on the yellow, his range is one. If it's on the orange, his range is two. If it's on the red, his range is three. So right now, it's on the orange, it has a range of two. What that means is, we look at his piece, and we look for everything within range two. Okay, so right now, it is just this island. But does it affect the whole island, or does it affect just the tiles? Let me have a look, because some of them work in a different way. Yeah, they're a bit different, aren't they, sometimes? Um, from islands within its impact ratio. Okay, so it does affect the island. So what this means is, if at least one hex was within the area, it affects the whole island. So, for example, if it was... Let's say if he was here, okay, and his range was one, then it would only affect this island. But if his range was two, it would actually affect the whole of this island as well. Even though that is outside of his range, because at least one hex is within range, it affects the whole island. So at the moment, we're all looking at the board and we're thinking, what's he going to do? He's not going to hurt any of us, but he's going to destroy that and that at the moment. Mm -hmm. What's she going to do? At the mm -hmm. moment, nothing. Because there are no crop settlements uh, on here. Oh, in fact, hers is range too. So it's actually, she's going to affect this island as well. So she's going to affect this island and this island, but there are no crop farms on those. So at the moment, they're not going to affect us. So you might think, well, wh why do we need to bother trying to appease them? There are benefits to doing so. Yes. Uh, you are going to get points if you make offerings. And remember, if either of these get to the top, then, uh, yeah, that, that's going to be bad. Right, what else do we need to do? Uh, we've done that, we've done that. Planning. So at this point in the game, it is recommended that the players have a bit of a discussion, because there is a sort of semi-cooperative element to this, about how we are going to try and appease these gods, and what the impact of them if we don't. So if we look at this again, this is the offerings that Acheron wants, and because we're in age one, we need this one and this one, and this is based on the number of players. So we need to give three figs and three salt in total between us in order to appease Acheron. Now, what that does is it will remove it'll move this down. This still happens, but it happens with a lower intensity. If we don't meet this in its entirety, it's going to move up. Okay. Whereas Maniba wants three milk and three pigs. So based on that, we now have a chat about what we can all do. Now, I, I can produce milk and I can produce figs. So I can help with that and that yeah. should should the situation arise. What about you two? I can definitely help with the salt. I can produce pigs and I can produce yeah. figs. We, we can all produce figs. We can all produce I pigs. I can produce pigs. Um, you, yes, I'm each Mr. of us can salt. produce one of the three core resources. Okay, so between us, we should be able to do it. Whether we want to do it or not is yeah. is, 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 is up to us. Now we're going to use the secret objectives, okay? Now, at this point, I just want to mention that the rule book actually contains a four-step process for learning how to play the game. This is a heavy game. This is a complex game. And if it is a bit too complex for you, if you're thinking, oh, wow, this is, this is too complicated for me, we are playing the full game today. We're not playing with the traitor variant, but we are playing the full game. And it is recommended when you start playing the game that you actually play through a series of, it's like a little mini campaign, but it introduces the rules to you over four games. We are straight on game four, okay? So we are playing with everything today, which includes secret objectives. Now, these are dealt out uh, at the end of the strategy phase in ages one and two. And what's gonna happen is we're gonna get two of these each. Thank you. And this is actually quite clever, the way that this works. Okay, now, if you two promise not to look, I am going to show the audience my okay. cards. I'm close my eyes. Right. These, these are my cards that I've got. Basically, each card lists a certain criteria, and then above it is either a plus or a minus sign. And what we're going to be doing now is, in, uh, in a certain order, we're each going to be choosing one of our cards. We're going to be putting it face down on the table, 
and we are going to be putting one of these scoring tokens on it. Now you'll notice there's six scoring tokens, two plus ones, a plus two, two minus ones and a minus two. And what you're doing is you are deciding that this card, whoever meets the criteria of this card will either gain it's all right, you can open your eyes again. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, I, Back in the room. I, should have, I shouldn't have told him. No. He didn't play the game with his eyes closed. Exactly. Um, yeah. So, for example, yeah. let, let's say, for example, this card was for whoever's got the biggest cheesecake, right? Just as an example. Oh, we know and that's that, you. Yeah, yeah, and I decided to put that on it. Now, I know at the end of the game, the player with the biggest cheesecake is going to lose two points. Nobody else knows this. So what you're doing is you are setting this secret objective, which will be revealed at the end of the game. Yeah. Okay, so it's quite a little clever mechanism. I don't think I've seen it. Have you seen it in a game before? It doesn't ring a bell. No. no. Now, this is done in order based on the whoever is furthest behind on the track, but we're all on the same space, so it goes from bottom to top, which at the start of the game is turn order. Now, you'll notice the six counters. We're going to remove three of them now in age one, and when we do this again in age two, we're going to use the other three, and then that's it. All six counters are gone. So, JP, you're first. Okay. You choose which card to play. So which counter have, would you like? Have the minus one, please. Okay. Thank you. Have the minus two, please. Oh, come on. Straight in there. Why is it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to say... Thanks. I'm going to say that card. And I'm going to say plus two. Okay, so obviously... I know what this is. What is it again? Oh yeah, biggest cheesecake. Um, so I want to try and achieve this because if I do, I got to get two points at the end of the game. You two, however, have gone for minuses. So they know that they are trying not to do that. Okay? And the card that you don't choose just gets discarded. We don't need that. Right, and that is the end of the strategy phase. So, we're now into the action phase. Right, now the action phase is played in turn order which is these numbered tokens here. This will change at the end of the round, at the end of the era. And what you do on your turn is you either take one or two actions, or you pass. If you pass, you are out for the age. So you can take one action and then skip your second one and you're still in. Uh, or you can take two actions or you can take no actions. But if you take no actions, you're passing and you're out. I'll give you a quick overview of the different actions because you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There's 13 different yeah. actions in the game. The ones on your player board require you to put either a cube or a cylinder on that space to do it. But there are also three other actions in the game, which are still actions, but they don't cost a marker to use. Now, you'll notice at the start of the game, we all have two cubes and two cylinders. So effectively, at the moment, we can only do four actions on our player board. Except for JP, who but has a third cylinder. He's got a third cylinder because of his starting thing. But you can get more of these during the game. Um, now, I think we'll explain them as we, as we go along. Yeah. Yeah. So we won't explain any of them just yet. But as soon as JP takes his first action, we'll then explain what that action is. So what action are you going to do? What action <laughs> am I going to do? I am going to do an explore with okay. one of my cylinders. Yeah. Okay. So the explore action, and I'll show you on my player board, the explore action is this one. Out of all of these actions here, this is the only one that you can do multiple times in a round. You can see that because of the infinity symbol here. And the explore action is actually the most complicated one in the game, but we're going to explain now how it works. And you've used a cylinder. Yes. So I'll, 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 I'll quickly explain the difference between using a cylinder and a cube. If you use a cube, you get to do the action once. That cube will come back to you at the end of the round, at the end of the age. If you use a cylinder, you get to do the whole action twice, but the cylinder goes at the end of the age. So it's a one use, one use thing only. So JP has chosen to do this movement action twice. Now the movement action is the most complicated one and it is a bit special because you actually get three movements to do with it. And then after you've done three movements, you then get to do things uh, in the location where the pieces that you moved ended up. And then because JP used a cylinder, get to do the whole thing again. So what are you going to do for your first movement? So for my first... Is it land or sea movement? 
I know, I'm just tempted now. Okay. Because um, if it's land movement, I'll explain land movement. Yeah. And if it's sea movement, <laughs> I'll explain sea Might movement. Might be a little bit sneaky. Okay. So I'm going to do a sea movement. Okay, so there's two types of movement in the game, land movement and sea movement. With sea movement, you move one... Uh, well, you can move up to five of your pieces onto a boat and then as far as you want in a straight line yep. and then you get off at a destination hex. One of those pieces has to be a noble. So if you look carefully, we've actually got two types of pieces. We've got nobles, which are carrying a spear, yep. and we've got villagers. Nobles are the only one that know how to use a boat. So there's no boat on the board, which means you're going to have to build one. Now, building a boat costs one wood. So you spend one wood. Yep. Where would you like the boat to go? Yeah. Right. right. I'm going to okay. basically send him there. And get off there. Now that, so you're just sending your noble, you're not sending any villagers. At the moment. Okay, so that is one of three movements. Remember, you can send one to five people on a boat. If the boat wasn't there, he'd have to build one first. But notice that the boat is not an orange boat. That's because boats are neutral pieces. Once it's built, uh, it stays on the board and anybody can use it. But they only go in straight lines. So you go as far as you want, but only in a straight line. Yeah. Uh, and that's your that's your noble move. Now, your noble could move again. It could now do a land movement if you wanted. But you only get to do something in the hex where you end up. So your second movement. There. Yeah. And your third movement there. is there. Right. So that's three different movements. Now, a land movement can be any number of pieces from one hex to another hex. So you could have done that for a second movement and then that for a third yeah. movement. Or, or, or that or something like this. Okay. Yeah. So there we go. Now, once all your movements have done, if you look at my player board here, you will see that there is a big list of what are called optional actions that you can do in the place where you end up. Now, this is the old player board. The new player board is clearer because uh, that first action and that fourth action can be done with any piece. But the second one, third one, fifth one and sixth one can only be done by your noble. So the new player boards, they've actually split it out They've put one and four first, and they've put a line, and there's a nice little icon. It's a lot clearer. But which of those optional actions do you want to do? Well, pick up the resources. Yeah. So one of the first things you do, if you are in an area, you can pick up the resource tile. So if you want to do that in each of the areas that you're in. Yeah, let's show everyone what's going on. And quite simply, you take the tile, uh, you gain the resources that are printed on it, and then you put the tile on your player board. So you get three stone, three obsidian, and two clay. Now I'm just going to show you my player board here. These are the tokens which I removed uh, at the start of the game to show what resources I got. But, and here's the clever thing about this game, we are living on these islands and we are trying to be a little bit ecologically friendly. Um, there is a penalty at the end of the game for the player who took the most tiles of each type. So you want to take these tiles off the board in order to get the resources, but if you take too many of them, Rob, uh, you will lose a whole bunch of points at the end of the game. Brackets <laughs> still won the game. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> still worked. So you've picked up the tiles from each of those. These tiles, by the way, do not replenish. Uh, once they have been taken, they are gone. And the only other thing you can do is with your noble, you can fight Offer it. We can't fight because there's nobody to fight. No. You can't do an offering because you're not a volcano. Do you want to build a settlement? I can't. You can't build a settlement. Okay. I don't have the knowledge to. to that's that it. One. In order for JP to have built a settlement here, he would have to n have the knowledge of building these uh, goat herds, yeah. which he doesn't have, so he can't establish a settlement. Now that's your first set of movements. Yeah. Because you used a cylinder, you get to do the whole thing again. Yeah. So these guys are going to go back. So that's two movements. Uh, maybe I'll leave one. Because I'll just move one. Yeah. Then so you get any boat. Where's he going? He's going here. Okay. And then second one. It's going to go and join no, here. No, that doesn't connect there. You can't. It's oh, only right. in straight lines. Oh, I just missed that. I have, haven't I? Yeah. Oh, no. You're all right. You jump. Uh, yeah, that's not quite the right position. An awkward play. I could go here and then that way. Yeah. That so you can go there. Drop off there, second movement, third movement, get on here and go over there. Yeah. Okay. So this isn't an attack. Okay. This is the noble who's gone over here. It's a friendly visit. It's yeah. a friendly visit. He's visiting Rob. Now, the reason why he's visiting Rob is this is Rob's pig farm. Okay. 
And if JP sends his noble into Rob's pig farm, then at the end of the age, that noble is going to learn pig farming. Okay? And that is the way in this game that you learn the things that you don't know how to do. So at the start of the game, I know how to create um, uh, goat herds and crop farms. I have no idea how to fish and I have no idea how to breed pigs. And you can't just take an action to remove it and learn the technology. In this game, what you've got to do is you've got to actually spend your time, go and visit somebody else who knows how to do it. And then at the end of the round, you will learn it from them, which is, I think, very cool and very thematic. And I've not seen that in a game before. And it's the mistake I made in Alan. And it's game. the mistake you made in the learning <laughs> game, which you're not mistaking it. You're not no, doing the same thing again. So that's your second lot of three movements. Which is still my first action. And that is still your first action. So you're I'm still... going to skip. You're skipping moment. your second yeah. action. Yeah. Right, okay. Rob, you've got moving. two actions. So I'm going to do the... Rob is doing something similar, but he's using a cube. So he only gets to do one, one lot of three movements. So first things first, my noble simply moves to here. That's one movement. And his turn there. Then I'm going to spend a wood to build another canoe. Which is going to get placed here. Don't, don't want this canoe. No, no, because I need to get the angle right. right. That, that, that's a rubbish canoe, that one. <laughs> these two leap in, yep. move to here, and get off. And get off here. Mm -hmm. Say hello to Maniba. Always thinking about it. He's thinking now, do I want to build a uh, farm settlement? Well, as long as it's not a crop settlement, we know that there's locusts on the way. Actually, as long as you've got the fire. No, I'm going to move to here. Here, okay. Rather than to there. I'm going to go for some early offerings. Yep. So first movement was that. Second movement was build a boat and go here. Yep. No, sorry. Got myself all turned around. First movement is to do this. He moves to there. He yep. moves to there. One, two, two, three, three. Okay. So that's your movements done. Now you yep. get to do the optional actions. So first things first, I'm taking this resource, yep. which is three obsidian. Nice. Nice little set of weaponry there. Uh, does the rule about learning also apply to the bottom row, Paul? No. So the rule about learning, just skipping ahead quickly, only applies to removing the cube at the top. Once you've learnt it, you can develop it yourself. But learning it is purely getting access to the top row. Once you've done that, the rest of it is down to you. Okay, then I get ooh, two wood. Mm -hmm. And then we establish a pig farm here. Right. So one of the optional actions that a noble can do is to establish a settlement. Now, in order to do that, first of all, it has to be your noble. Villagers can't establish settlements. The next thing is you have to be in the right type of terrain to establish it, and you have to know how to do it. So you're building a pig farm, pig farm. which has to be in a forest, and you know how to do that. So that becomes a settlement. Okay. Okay, now that comes with two piggies. It, it Well, technically, it's another optional action to add two piggies to a village. Gather livestock. Okay? Which is yeah. gather livestock. Now, the reason why I'm saying it, it's technically like that is this noble, on a future action, could move in. Not from there, Paul, from there. Sorry, yes, from there. Uh, could move in. So say you were here, on a future action, you could move into there and you would add two more livestock. So, speaking about the livestock, it's this button. Right, we have the wilderness. This is the wilderness board, and at the start of the game, we had five piggies here and five goats here, because it's the number of players plus two. Now, this represents the number of pigs and goats living in the wilderness. And every time your noble takes the action to basically gather animals, they are gathered from this board here. And if you are the player that removes the last piece from, from here or here, you lose one victory point. Because again, we are trying to live at one with the islands and we don't want to completely drain them of, of all resources. Speaking of draining them of all resources, where's all of the uh, resource tiles gone from here? Oh, you he took them all. No, you took the last you one. You took the last one. Oh. Okay. So Rob took the last resource tile from this island, which is minus one point. Yep. So there you go. So yes, so that's the other thing that we you can do. Oh, well. But if you remove the last resource tile from an island, you lose one point. Again, happened several times in the last game. Yes. Still won. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So it's it's an annoyance rather than a game just well, yeah. a game ender. But you shouldn't completely it. avoid it. It's, no. Yeah. You just got to know that you're. And the point. I'm going to be covering the solo game of this on Monday, and in the solo game and the cooperative game, 
you are not allowed to remove the last tile from an island. Okay. So then, you uh, built the settlement. Yep. You uh, gathered two animals from the wilderness and put them in there. Yep. And now I'm making a sacrifice at the volcano. And there is another optional action that you can do, and that is to make an offering. Now, to make an offering, you have to have a noble. It has to be on a volcano, and you have to have moved there as part of this action. Now, when you make an offering, you basically fill any number of these spaces as you want to. There is a benefit to the first player who makes an offering on each card. Yep. Now, Rob has a fig. So I'm sacrificing one fig to... One fig on there. Okay. There. And then I'm going to sacrifice three pigs. Use your own counters. Just because we've got to know... That oh, it's sorry. Yep. One, two, three. Okay. So Rob sacrificed three pigs... And put three pigs on here. Because so, it's idols. Yeah, this has been done. So we don't need to sacrifice any more any more pigs now. We have met that criteria completely. And we've started working towards this one. Now, the first player to do any kind of offering on this card gets a, an idol card. And the first player to do any kind of offering here gets an idol card. So Rob basically gets two idols. Now, idols are cards which are secret. They go into your hand. Uh, they can be used for various things. They're all fully explained on the back of the rule book. Although Rob might know what they do because he <laughs> drew about ten of them in the last game. Yes, well, I'll, I'll call it a small, a small okay, number. Okay. <laughs> mm, can I just have the? You can. Oh, these these are two. These didn't come up last. Oh right. Game. Okay. You're all done, I believe. While you're looking yep, at your cards. Yep. You can. Right. So it's my go. So well, I, I might so do something different. I am passing as my second. You're skipping your second yeah. action. Yeah. Right. Okay. So my go, I, I might do something different just to show how things work, but but also I might not. <laughs> so we'll cover it. Eventually. Yeah, if if we look at what's going on down here, this has actually gone. So, so I I've got two conquistadors here. Now you can go and attack the conquistadors and doing so is useful because it gets you points and you capture the conquistadors and you can put them in your prison and then you can sacrifice them to the gods. You can sacrifice your own people to the gods as well but it's much better to sacrifice those pesky European invaders. <laughs> um, however, in order for me to fight these conquistadors I need to send two people, one of which has to be a noble yeah. and then if I... because I, I also want this clay so if I was to move and move these two into here, and this one into here, what that means is these goats suddenly realise that there's nobody keeping an eye on them, and they do a runner and go back into the wilderness. So I don't want to do that. Um, I could still move into here, but I don't want to leave that completely unoccupied. So let's just have a look at what else I could do. I mean, I could move that. Let's just remind ourselves of what he's doing. Where's he? He's here. And he's going to destroy those two woods. So that's fire. To that she's way, going to destroy yeah. the crops there and there. Now, I need to be very careful because if this gets to the red, then her range goes up to three, and that's going to destroy that. But I don't think it will. I don't think it will. Right. If I, I'm going to be doing the milk, aren't I? So I need to get myself three milk somehow by the end of this age. Now I could do that by building another goat farm, which I can totally do. I think I can. I really don't have many people. So there's a difference between your noble and your villager. Um, your noble is the one that can establish settlements, but you don't control a settlement unless you have a villager there. So here, I'm in a little bit of an odd situation. Um, but I think I think I am going to move. I, I think I'm going to do exactly the same action as you two have done. And I am going to... But I'm going to use a cube. So I'm going to choose the move action. And the three moves I'm going to do are... I'm going to send a noble into here with a villager. So I've lost control of this settlement. This is no longer my settlement. Anybody else can move in there and take it if they wanted to. I'm also going to move this noble into here with this one. So that's a second movement and I don't think I'm going to have a third movement. 
although I'm not collecting any resources, which is bad. I love me, I love me some resources. Yeah, quite important, aren't they? But <laughs> I think I think that's it. Yep. So I, I'm only doing two out of the three movements. Um, let's do this one first. Why was there no tile on here? I took it. You got in early and nicked it. I said I was being Oh, you, you came it. over here, took yeah, it. And... I did two act, two oh, uh, explores, didn't I? So I'll go here, find some JP shaped footprints. <laughs> where's my stone? And go, and go where, where's all the stone There's gone? Some here, if you want to. There's like a JCB tracks and a big dumper <laughs> truck. <laughs> but what I am going to do is I'm going to establish a settlement. And because it's mountains and I have the knowledge, I can establish one of these settlements. And then I'm going to attract myself two goats from the wilderness and put them in there. And because there's a villager there, I control that settlement, right? Over here, I have moved into a hex that has the conquistadors in it. Now, if you do that, you really want to do it with two people and you need to have two weapons. So if you look at your player board, you will see that goat horns counts as a weapon. Also, obsidian counts as a weapon. I have two obsidian. I've moved two people in there which means I can spend that to Obsidian and I have captured both of those Conquistadors. So they go into my jail. I get one point, which means I'm winning the game with one point. And then what we do is we, we remove this fort from the board. And now if I wanted to, I could establish a settlement of my choice. Mm -hmm. Well, no, not uh, it would be a crop settlement. Yeah, it's the only you can do, isn't it? It's the only one I can do, and I'm trying to think why I wouldn't. No, we're going to do it. We're going to establish a crop settlement, and that goes that goes here, which I am in control of because I have a villager there. Now, crop settlements don't come with any animals. They are just there to grow, uh, grow figs. I think I'm done. Okay. Oh, that was my first action. Yeah, it was. Right, my second action is I am going to develop. So developing is that the left hand column of each of these four areas, and you can either do it with a cube or a cylinder, but you can only do it once, but I'm going to use a cube. It's going to go in here and I'm going to develop this. Now the cost to develop is shown on the left hand side. This is one clay and one stone. I have a clay, I have a stone. So that means that I have developed this ability, which is to turn milk into cheese. So that comes off and that cylinder is now mine. So I can use that as another action marker at some point in the game. Right, that is my two actions done. That's me. JP, can you attack each other's stuff? No. There is no direct conflict in the game, um. but there are many things that you can do that will interact with each other. First of all, you can go to an island and, and take the resources, <laughs> for example. Which would be a mean thing. Which to would do. be a very mean thing to do. And anybody yeah. who did that would not be invited round again no, to play games. But <laughs> certainly from my experience, and it didn't really happen this afternoon, but in this morning's game, somebody deliberately didn't get enough food to feed their people, which meant somebody died, which meant a god got angry, to do it, uh, which means yeah. their wrath got higher, which means their effect on the board was higher, and it really messed somebody up. So there are there are things yeah. that you can do that will impact on that. Okay. Okay, you'll go. Two my, actions. My first uh, action will be to basically do the artisan's market. Okay, so we mentioned earlier on that there are... How many actions did we say there were? 13. 13. 13 different actions in the game, although you've seen quite a lot of them already. One of the actions that you can do is to take a card from this artisan area here. Now I've overlaid these simply to save space. You can buy any of them, but these four all do the same. These two all do the same, and this is a special one. So this is an action that doesn't cost you a cube or a cylinder. So it still costs you an action, but yeah, you don't have to spend a cube or a cylinder. Yeah. So I've paid the three clay. You've paid the three clay, you buy this one. Now this is very simple. You take an idle card, but you also keep this card because there may be a secret objective to buy the most Maybe artisan cards, these. for example. Um, yeah, and in fact, my special ability is that I buy these cheaper. Oh, is that what you do? That, that is my special ability, oh, is to buy them cheaper. Yeah. Although I don't have resources, <laughs> the resources no. to, bu to buy them. You'll get there, I'm sure. So that's your first action. You idol, get an idle card. So I didn't get enough of them in the last game, so... I'm not very useful. Yeah. Uh, what is that? I have a look at the. Uh, yep. 
So if it's got a lightning bolt in the bottom left, yeah. you play it... As an action? No, you play it during your action. Oh, okay. If it's got the event icon, you play it when we're resolving the events. Uh, and the only other one is the end of game icon. Some of them are end of game cards. Or you can always sell it for any resource at all. Which is one of the other actions you can do. If you've got an idol in your hand, oh, this is brilliant. you can sell it, get rid of it, and you get any one resource that you want, including one that you can't really have. Yeah. So I'm going to do this one now. You're going to do it now? Okay, yeah, what is it? That's your second action. So I can learn uh, now. So it, because my noble is already with somebody, oh, right. I can learn that straight away. And I don't have to Without wait there. until the end of the Correct. age. But that isn't an action. Is that not? Is that just... Or is it an action? I thought there was still oh. action. I thought there was still action. Oh, maybe, maybe at the end. Action. I don't mind. Oh, yeah, because that, that's the three, option, the, the three other actions, isn't it? Play it's an idol. Use an idol. Use an idol. Yeah, sell an, an idol or yep. buy a card. There you go. So, so you're, you're using this as an action... To learn that. To basically learn that. So we're, you're seeing what happens at the end of the round. You're seeing it now with this card. Is JP is immediately learning how to play, uh, how, how to breed pigs. Because, and here's another little bit of interaction in the game, which can be a little bit nasty. Um, at the end of the round, JP was going to learn how to breed pigs from this person here. If Rob moved that one out before the end of the round... <laughs> he wouldn't have done that, though, would he? he wouldn't have, but if he had have done... JP's noble would have been here and gone, uh, hello, hello, can anybody teach me how to breed pigs? And there wouldn't have been anybody there. So there has to be another player there who knows how to do it in order for you to learn from. Yep. So, yeah, that's quite cool. Uh, the card that you play, you keep, yep. because there might be a secret objective for the number of played idols. Well, right. That's my two actions. That's your two actions. Yeah. Rob. Okay, I'm going to use a cylinder and do more moving. More movement. So you're so. doing three movements. Followed by another three yep. movements. So movement one, he moves to the mountain here. Oh, there we go. He'd run off. Yep. Oh, I need, I need the stone. Because I've got loads and loads of obsidian, which is great for killing uh, great for doors, go, but, but no, no stone. No building. Well, thanks for teaching my tribe pigs. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Appreciate it. And then he jumps in the canoe <laughs> and sails out to here. Oi! That's my clay. <laughs> was. Was your oh. clay. Um, and he builds a canoe here. From one wood. Can, yep. So he can then leap round to there. Yep. So I then take all these. Take all of those. So that's three clay. Ooh. Nice. You want this one? Yep. That's two clay. So that's five clay in total. Yep. And two stone and an obsidian. Nice. So five clay. Remember, these resources are finite. Mm, they run out fast. Two stone and an obsidian. Wow. Okay. okay, so that's your first set of three movements. Does this noble want to do anything else he here? He cannot, because I can't build beaches or ah. mountains. Yeah, okay. So you don't have fish. You don't know how to fish, so yep. you can't build a fishing settlement here. That's right. Okay. Uh, the other thing that I just wanted to mention, if we, if we just look here, this was Rob's settlement. This was Rob's pig farming settlement. But, because he's moved out, he no longer has control of it. And although JP's noble is there, nobles cannot control settlements. So this settlement here is currently uncontrolled. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Then for my second, second set of three movements. Second set of three moves. We are going to... Before it's blown up. Noble's going to jump across to here. So he gets on the boat and goes here. Yeah. That's one. He's going to move to there. Two. For two. Yeah. And he will leap across to here for three. Okay. And then I take myself two more wood. Yep. Yeah. All the resources. And he just loves those monopoly three bonuses. more <laughs> clay. Now, there was one thing that we didn't mention earlier on. When you moved into here, players can trade. Oh, yeah. So if you I'm move sure a piece into a hex where there is somebody else's pieces, those two players can trade. We forgot to mention that. We'll mention it later on, and we yeah. might actually do it. We didn't in the previous game, but yeah. I wanted to, but Rob had everything. He did. <laughs> <laughs> just, just like now. He's got all the stuff. <laughs> right. I don't have it. Are you done? I'm done. So you've gone with the early initial big yes. movements to get yeah. all of the resources. Okay. There's still some left. 
well, I'm going to produce. I'm going to do something different just from the people, um, just from the people watching. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this cylinder to do this action. And remember, the cylinder means that I get to do the action twice. And this is the produce action. Nobody's done a produce action yet. Oh, yeah. But when you do the produce action, you basically follow through all of the steps here in order. So if I produced uh, here, I'd only get to do the first step because I haven't unlocked this. I can't choose the produce action here because I don't, I don't know how to do any of that. But if I do the produce action here, I get to do this and then this and then this because I have now unlocked this entire area. So the top one is for every goat that I have, I get one milk. I currently have four goats in settlements that I control. They've got to be in settlements that you control. So I get four milk there. Then the next thing is for every goat that I decide to kill, I'm going to get one goat meat and I'm going to get a goat horn. Okay. I'm not going to kill any goats at the moment. Then we go down to the bottom bit and the bottom bit is I can turn milk into cheese. So basically I can use any amount of milk. I add one wood to basically light, light the fire. Uh, and then I basically convert all of that milk into cheese. I'm not going to choose to do any of that at the moment. And then what we do is because I used a cylinder, I get to do the whole action twice again. Okay. Uh, the, the whole action once more again. So back to the top, I get four more milk. Now I get to decide how many of these goats that I want to kill. Now, I'm not sure at this point whether I want to kill any of these goats. Um, so I don't think I do. I'm just trying to work out how much food I'm going to need at the end of the round. I am definitely going to have an excess of stuff. Because you feed after reproduction, don't you? Yeah. So I might be wanting to trade okay. with some with some lovely people. Now, I do need three milk for the thing. The offering. So I'm going to spend one wood, and I'm going to convert five of that cheese. Uh, sorry, five of that milk into cheese. I think that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll do. So I could have converted any number of milk, but I've I've chosen to keep three because I need three for the offerings. Okay, and that's it. So because I used the cylinder, I did the whole thing once, and then I did the whole thing twice. Now that was my first action. Mm -hmm. I've only got two cylinders left. The board situation isn't looking particularly great. Um, but I do need to be sacrificing at some point. So I'm I'm going to do my second action, and I'm going to use a cylinder to do movement. And I need to do some clever stuff that you guys have done, which is basically grab lots of stuff. Yeah. So I will spend a wood to build a boat here. I'm happy to trade for a cheese. You yeah. I mean, what have you got? Like I've got, you've, all, you've I've got, got tons of tons of resources. I, I need clay. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy to trade clay for I cheese. Clay. So it's isn't interesting because it? all trades in this game between players are a one for one. Yeah. It doesn't matter how valuable you think the resource is or anything like that. It, a trade is always one for one. But it's good to know that you're you're happy to trade. Yeah, so I've, I've got tons of clay. Resource rich, aren't you? First movement is going to be to here. Now, if I move this villager out of here, I'm going to lose these two animals. So that needs to stay there. Um, or, no, I'll tell you what, I could send him over there and leave the noble there. Doesn't he have to, doesn't the noble have to take the villager? Across? Oh, that's true. Villagers can't use boats. They don't trust yeah, the that's why. <laughs> there. Scared of the canoe. Yeah. Um, I really could have done with an extra villager here. How do I get an extra villager here? Reproduce. Well, yeah, but I can't reproduce because there's you've got to go. There's only, yeah. there's only one yeah, there's always, yeah. Well, there's reproduce always. the end of the, end of turn one and move them over in turn two. First movement, okay. Second movement. Um, second movement will be that. The third movement will be that. Okay, so I'm going to get this, which loses me a point because that's the last resource on the island. But it oh, one clay. Hardly <laughs> worth it. I'm going to get this two clay. 
Okay. There's a little bit of a randomness in, in the tiles. You beat people. Any point. You beat minus one. Oh, minus one point for that, yeah. yeah. Um, and then we're going to do some offering. Okay, so I've got me three milk. And the three milk is going to go on there. Now, who was going to sort out the... Salt, me. The salt, and what about the I'm figs? I'm working to it. The figs I can do a little bit. Okay, yeah. We can all do figs, was the thing. I've already put one fig in, so... Yeah, I don't have any figs. Yeah. So I... C oh, I've got conquistadors. Right, so this is the thing. Uh, you can sacrifice the conquistadors to the gods, and they're very happy with human sacrifices. So conquistadors count as anything. But you can also use your own people, either villagers or nobles. I don't really want to do that. I'm going to sacrifice those two conquistadors, which puts me two of these on. Now, are you going to do the salt in the entirety? Um, are you going to be able to? Yeah, eventually. <laughs> I've got the actions, to be fair. Are you sure? The you main, do have the actions. The main question is, yeah, does Paul need to split this? Should I, should I split salt it? salt is harder to produce than fruit. So. You can put one in. Um, I, I'm working towards getting a big load of salt, essentially. That's which obviously I need to create more coastal settlements to do so. So you're, you're planning on creating a coastal settlement? Which is probably going to benefit you because you've already got a noble okay. salt. Probably and then it. you'll probably put a disc a cylinder on there to do it twice. So actually, I think we need to do that. Okay. That I think if you're us. going for... Producing three yeah. salt, we'll do, we'll do that. Just got to we'll, get we'll, to it. We'll trust that's going to work, and, and hopefully I haven't game. messed it we, up. We we cross our fingers. You saw my previous performance, right? Yeah. yeah so, that's 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 <laughs> so this one can't build a coastal settlement because I don't know how to fish. Um, and now because I used a cylinder, I'm going to do my second lot of movement. I just need to make this more efficient before I do it. That's all. Now, who do I want to learn from? And what do you want to learn? And, and what do I want to learn? That's that's the thing. Because um, we don't know what's coming up. I think I probably want to learn how to fish. So I could do that by going here. This this person will teach me fishing. Yep. You already know I need to create salt. So it's unlikely I'm going to be abandoning it. So yeah, okay. So he's going to get on sense. his boat and he's going to sail and he's got, going to go here. So we can trade now. Okay. Want to, but I've got two other movements left, um, and that one is going to go one into there, and then we're going to go two into there. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm not quite sure, but yeah, that's fine. Okay. So we we can now trade. So we didn't do this at all in the game this afternoon, but have I got anything you want? Have you got anything that's I want? Look in. I mean, to be honest, I don't really have much stuff. You got cheese. I've got cheese. Got a lot of cheese, to be fair. Yeah, I. What do you I'd, need? Well, I'm just trying to work out. So the thing is, there is a, there is. A, we'll explain this more later on, but there is spoilage in this game. Certain yeah. things go off, and I can only store three cheese. But I'm going to have four people, and they're going to eat that. Yeah. So, so at the you're moment, going to be okay. Aren't you? No, my my fish is going to spoil. Yeah. Fine. So I'm going to I'm going to lose a fish. Um. Unless you eat it. Unless I eat the fish and this, which means this two cheese is actually up for grabs. So it just depends on what you want. What, I, what, it, what it is that I want. It up, yeah. Indeed. Indeed. Um, would you be happy to trade one cheese for some, um, let's say, stone? Yeah, go on. Okay. So what happens I don't know why is, we're yeah, I just I just move that to there, and you move that to there. <laughs> yeah. And would you be happy to trade? No, you wouldn't be happy to trade. I was going to say I'll give you a cheese for some roasted flour, but why would you do that? No. That's that's crazy. I'm good with that, thank you. Um, we can hold on, Paul. Yeah. Okay, we we've had some trading. We didn't do that at all this afternoon. No. Um, now what else can I do? I can do nothing. I've traded. I can't build a settlement because I'm. Yeah, I think we're good. You're good. I am. I am. I am good. You yes. Spent enough action cubes. Me. Yeah, you've only actually spent one. That's true. You've had two actions. Well, no, you've had two. I did. I don't think you moved one. You up. bought one of these. 
Oh was, that, was that your only act? And then you used it. And then I used it. And then I only did the. That's my first action. So your first turn, you moved. And, and, then and then skipped. skipped. And then your then second turn was you bought that and, then and played it. it, and that was it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, yeah, so. Okay. So I'm going to develop. Right. And I'm going to do it twice. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to show you my player board now. Uh, let's say I was to develop here, it would allow me to remove that. If I developed with a cylinder, it means I can basically develop twice. What that means is I could pay this cost to take that off, and then because I've used a cylinder, develop that at the same time. I'd have to spend all of those resources, but it is a way of getting both of your cylinders. And that's exactly what you're doing, isn't it? It is. So you've got the resources to develop both of those. Yep, which I've done and paid for. And you've got two more cylinders. I'm skin. So yeah, I've got two more cylinders and my second action, I'm gonna produce. You're producing. Twice in there. Okay, so the figs is you produce one fig for each villager you have that is in a settlement of the corresponding type. So one. You have one, yeah. so you get one fig. Yeah. Then for each settlement you have, you get some wheat and some cereal. Mm -hmm. And then if you've unlocked the bottom bit, you can convert cereal if you want to roasted flour. I'm not going to do that okay. for now because I want to keep my wood. Yeah. But um, then we go through the process again and you get another one of those, one of those, one of those. Yeah. So yeah, it's quite a lot of stuff. Now I mentioned about the spoilage. You notice if there's a little icon in the top left, that means at the end of that age, that's going to spoil, that's going to spoil, that's going to spoil, that spoils, that spoils. Down at the bottom, you can store anything more than three will spoil. So you've got room to store three of each of the bottom goods, um, and anything above that will, will spoil. So, okay, right. That's me done. Cheese doesn't spoil. I, I, it does. It does. We, we've got some cheese in the fridge, which is about to grow legs <laughs> and walk off. So, okay. yes. Yeah, it just so takes longer. Yeah. I'm going to do a develop here. Yep. So it only costs me one of these resources because I get a discount. Yeah, so, so all of our tribes me... have special abilities, and Rob's special ability is developing the bottom row cost him one less resource. It only cost me one clay, and then that moves out to there. Nice. And then I will pass. So you're skipping your second action? Yep. Um... What am I doing? I'm not sure. I mean, I've, I've got a cylinder left, but I'm tempted to keep it. I, I, I'm happy with this. So that's a piece of I've done my bit there. I'm not going to do anything more there. I could buy one of these. Mm -hmm. That's what I want to do, because I get these cheaper. Yeah, I mean, one less resource is brilliant, really. Because some of these are really great, just like that idol that I picked up. To train, that was amazing. So I'm I'm going to buy this. So it's going to cost me two clay. Yeah. Now this is a special card. What this means is, you know that limit that I've literally just told you about, that doesn't apply to me. I have a super magical pot, and basically all of my bottom spaces have an unlimited amount of space in them, and none of my goods at the bottom will ever go off because I've got this card. And I think I think that might be it. I'm going to skip my second action. Okay. okay. I'm, I'm going to stay in, but I might come back to it. So I'm going to do an explore. Right. Three movements. He's coming back home. Hello. For one. He's going to go in the boat. Yep. So join you guys. Oh, hello. Hi. Do you want me to teach you how to I'd love do to goat, learn goat herding? Goat herding, if that's possible. <laughs> and possibly I can move both of these, can't I? Yep. You can move any number from one hex to an adjacent to hex. Maybe because it's yeah, let's do that. Okay, so you did yeah. one, yeah. two, three. Three stone. Three stone, nice. Nice. So that's the first one, right? And then you, that was it, you used the cube. Used the cube. So that's your first action. First action, and I think the second action. Got a nice untouched island here. It's probably produce all the old fishies. <laughs> it's interesting. Yeah, so my second action I'm going to produce on my coastal. Okay, so this produces the whole thing. So first of all, for every uh, villager you have, 
in a coastal fishing settlement, you get a fish, yeah. which is two. Just then for each coastal settlement you've got in control of, yeah. you get a salt. Oh, of course, it's per settlement, isn't it? It's per settlement. So Just one. Where's your other one? Oh, you always, ah, oh yeah, yes. your special ability. You always get an additional salt. Yeah. Uh, and then, if you wanted to, you it's could... calculated, though, because I thought it was going to get two yeah. anyway. You could well, spend... You could do cylinder instead. Which does yeah, it twice. you could do. I think I will. Yeah. If that's all right. And then the bottom bit, you can so spend I, any amount of fish. I'll come back to... The, yeah, so then I can do this again. You do it all again, so you get two more fish. Uh, two more. We're going to add discs. Let me just two more it. fish, two more salt. Two more salt. And now you can you have straw, so you can turn you can so smoke some fish. Absolutely. Is that what you're doing? So two more salt, and then um, yeah, spend one of those. So one wheat converts any number of fish into smoked fish. Into smoked fish. Should be plenty to keep me fed for a while, but I have the spoilage limit, so I think I will just do the. Th Depends what you're going to eat this turn. It does, yeah. One. How many figs left to go? Are, are we figged out? Figged out. We it's are just, figged it's out. Just, a salt. just, so just figs. Salt. figs are going to go off, so I might as well eat those. One, two, three. Might as well do that. Now I'll just I'll leave. I'll leave one. I'll do four. Okay. Yeah. So four smoked fish. Yeah. Well done. Okay. I think so. Mm, Rob, okay. two actions, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm going to do a double develop here. Mm -hmm. So that costs me a wooden stone to do this level one. Level two, yeah. Level and one. And then one stone. Cheap. To do the cheap, cheap. One. Okay, that was your first action. Yep. And I'll skip. Yeah, so I've got a cylinder left. But. don't think I want to do anything. I mean, what I'm going to learn... I'm going to learn fishing. I'm going to learn fishing from you. Yep. The only other one is pig farming. Just and I can learn that from here. There. If he stays there. <laughs> if he stays there, but... Yeah, because she's not going to affect it. No, yeah, she's she just fucking pig. crops. Yeah, she got probably it's wheat. It's whether it's worth it, and I'm not sure it is, to be honest. She's all about the locusts, isn't she? The plague. I am not sure it's worth it. I mean, what I could do is I could do that. Oh, but then I don't breed. I've got to have two people in a place yep, in two. order to breed. No, I, th I think I'm passing. So that that is me. That is me out for the age. You're good for the age. Yeah, man. I am done. Okay. Ah, do I do a double explore or do I do a single? What else do I want to do? Just... Do I save it? So for those of you watching along live, age one is going to come to an end soonish, yep. and then you're going to get to see the end of the age stuff, and there'll be a lot of extra rules that we will explain at that point to hopefully bring what we've been talking about together. You know what I will do? I'm gonna do my. Um, oh, you're gonna build a cave. I'm gonna build a cave. Okay. Get it ready. Right. I'll show you. I'll show you my player board. So once in the game, oh, I should have a cylinder there. Once in the game, you can build a cave. To build a cave, you spend one wood, one clay, and one stone, and you move this cylinder from there to there. Uh, and the reason why you need a cave is your initial place can only support four people. If you go above four people you need a cave, otherwise they've nowhere to sleep and they die. So we, so you still get the people through breeding, but then if you if you haven't built your cave, they unfortunately die. So JP's building your cave already. Just getting it ready. Just getting it ready. I've got in, the action economy to do it. In so. advance, you do. So then I think I will... Is it worth me doing a double cylinder? Maybe I can set some stuff up. One, two... Yeah, let's do a double explore. Which might be a bit overkill, that's fine. Um, so. 
one. Double explore. Let's leave it at that in a moment. Okay. Look that. Which is two wood. Two wood. And wood. minus one on the. Yeah, that is the last. There's oh, also got an island. That. Well, that's fine because I do need the wood. I'm, I'm winning again with zero it's, points. Well, we've Yay. all done it, so it's <laughs> netted off, hasn't it? Um, and then I'm going to make an offer. Okay. Are so you offering the three salts? I'm offering the three salts. Right, excellent. So that is it. That is both the of the player. gods fully appeased for the first age of the game. I'll just throw one of them on. Um, it is going to get harder in age two. Yeah, there's no point doing the figs. So that's pretty much it, isn't it? There's nothing else I can offer. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was your first lot of movements. That's first lot of movements. You've then got a second lot of movements. So I'm going to put there. Donk, donk. That's three. One, two, three. Yeah. Yep. And, and you're going to establish a coastal. Establish a coastal. Yep. Just to nice. Done. Get some it more. could have been two if you went one. Two. two. Yeah, it could have been two. So, so yeah. then you got one extra movement left if you want it. If yeah, you want it. But I don't know what else I want to do at this stage because I want them to reproduce. Yeah. I want him to train and to set up for future, really. Yeah. So that, okay. that's, that's Okay. Good. Rob? Right. Double move. So More double go. moves. One. So one. Two. Two. Three. Three, yeah. I'll get myself two wild pigs. So you're attracting two wild pigs, and there's only one left in the wilderness, yep. which means they're not going to breed. Yep. So this is interesting. You'll see breeding at the end, but pigs in the wilderness still breed. But they'll breed in your farm. Yep. And then my second move is going to be one, two, if you'd be so kind, Ball. Yep. Yeah. Three. Okay. He's just um, he's just here. No, he moved onto your onto your on your goat farm. One. A one, two, two three. three. Yeah. Right, whilst we're here. Do you want to trade? Yes. I could do I could use some cheese. I have a spare cheese. And I've got some spare clay if you'd still like it. Well, or a bit your, of wood. You got your preserved. Uh, yeah, I mean now. I've got this. Yep. So you're cool. I so can, I can offer wooden wood or wood or a clay for your cheese. I don't or know even, what or even a bit cheese. of a goat, or a bit of goat horn. <laughs> We've got muck. Got muck. And I, can, I can offer you muck. <laughs> We've got some manure. We've got highest quality, highest quality of island muck. Well, I'm going to need best four the food business. to feed my people, and I've got I've got three and one because this this cheese can now stay because I've got a super yeah. a super big refrigerator to keep it in. <laughs> so I'm not desperate to trade anything. The problem is I am seriously short on resources because you two have hoovered up. Yeah, so I'm happy to provide. I've got wood and I've got clay. Um, Same offer for you, actually. I mean, I'll, t I'll take food for uh, for wood and clay. Would you take a fish for a clay? Fish. One, two, three. Six. I need... Oh, you moved in with me. I'm going to need to fit six, feed six people. Six? Well, I've currently got five on the board. You don't I mean, feed your nobles. So oh, we don't, oh, it's only uh, four. Nobles, so nobles are fed. Okay. Uh, so you, might, you should be all right for your first go, because you've always started with one... Here. Yeah, but I gave away the the fruit to do that. So, ah, okay. What, what 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 did you want for the fish? Uh, clay. Yeah, I'll give you a of clay for the fish. Of which you've got tons. <laughs> yeah, switch. A metric. What are we doing? What, what are yeah. we doing? Yeah. So yeah, fish. You get a fish. I get okay, fish. You fish get clay. for clay. Um, any food? Actually, I've got. I've got, I've got some uh, smoked fish. I'll trade a bit of smoked fish. So yeah, because you moved in here where we are both, you can trade with both of us. Yep. Take a wood. Take a wood for some, I'll, right. take, I'll give you a road And again, wood, in this afternoon's fish. game, we didn't trade didn't at it, all. It was only at the end of the game where we went, oh, wait a minute, we could have been trading with each other. So that was the end of my turn. I passed. So it's back you, to me. You've still got a cube, you might as well use might it. Might use it as a waste otherwise. So I think it's probably a development just to unlock one. Well, it's not one, it has to be that one. Because I don't have the knowledge for going. Oh, yeah, you, yep. you, you can start on your pig farm now. So I can do that with one of those and an obsidian. To learn how to kill pigs. Kill pigs. And chop them up for me. Yeah. Thanks to Rob, who oh. taught me the way of the pig. Oink, oink. Thanks, mate. So that was one, right? That and was your first action. I'll just skip for now. Okay, Rob. I'll figure out if I want to do anything else. Let's see. The rest of those are going to need stone. I'll pass. I've already passed. Oh, 
I'll pass and I'll save this. Right, we are done for the action phase in the first age of the game. So at this point, we are now going to go through the end of age. There are ten steps, but don't worry, they're all relatively simple. The first one is breeding. For every two animals together, or sorry, if, if there is two or more animals, you get an extra one. Now that happens... Piggy from the reserve, please. Yeah, and these come from the reserve. They don't come from the wilderness. So I get an extra goat here, yeah. and I get an extra goat here. Also, animals in the wilderness will breed if there are two or more of them. We only have one pig, so unfortunately he's very lonely. Um... <laughs> He wants to go and make friends with the goats, but they don't want anything to do with him. So we get an extra goat here. Yeah. The other thing that breeds is if you have two villagers together on the same space. So I do here, and I get an extra one. I do here, I get you an extra here, one. You get an extra one, okay. And if there were two conquistadors on the board, they breed as well. Uh, but nobles do not count for breeding. It has to be... We got that right, didn't we? It, yep. it has to be two villagers village, yeah. um, for them to breed. Yeah, two villagers, two conquistadors, two animals. Right, that's breeding done. The next phase, or the next step, is we need to feed our people. If we don't feed our people, then every person that is not fed dies. We lose points based on how many die, and the anger's one of the gods. It anger's the, um, the female god, yeah. um, whatever her name god. is. Yeah. Um, so, feeding is basically the, the heart icon. So if you look at my player board... I have four people to feed, and if you look here, you'll see there is a number next to each one. That is the amount of food that each one actually does. So to feed four people, I can I, I, I can basically use um, two cheese. So I eat two cheese, and that is my people fed. Yeah, you're all fed. I've got a, I've got to use these because these are going to perish. They're going to perish otherwise. Otherwise, I'm going to get punished for for perishing. Which yeah, does mean I'm going to have to overpay. Okay. Well, I don't have to do that, do I? Could do any of these. Uh, either way, it's going to overpay. I give them fish and salt I'll pork. Fish and salty pork. You're all done. So we've all fed all of our people, right? Yeah. Uh, the next stage is spoilage. So if we have any resources on our board which would spoil, what happens is they actually go onto here. Now, this space can have one one per player. So a little bit of spoilage is okay. But as soon as the fourth resource goes on, then there is spoilage. And the player who triggered that will, um, I believe, lose a point. And then you remove a number of resources equal to the number of players. So basically, if we throw away a bit of stuff, it's okay. But if we throw away too much, that's bad. Um, yeah, so in fact, yeah, you lose points if you go above the excess. And it angers Acheron, Archeron, Archeron, yeah. Archeron, whatever his name is. Right. The next thing is we need homes for people to sleep in. If we don't, they die, and she gets angry. So, I'm all right. I'm all right. You're all right. You're all good. right. Okay, yeah. we're all good. Got me the next well. one is the offerings. Okay, so we're going to go back to the offerings board at this point, and we're first of all um, going to do, um, yeah, is it Acheron? I need to get these names right. You've said it like ten Acher times today. I still can't remember it. Acheron. 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 This guy. Right. So what we do is we look on here to see, did we complete all of the required things? Which remember, we're age one, so we're having to complete that one and that one. We did, which means he's okay. He's happy. Yeah. If we didn't, even if we were one resource short, he would get angrier and it would go to there. So that goes down to here. Then what we do is we look at who donated the most. Red donated the most, so gets two points. Blue donated the second most and gets one point. And whoever donated the third actually gets one resource of their choice. So you can get any one resource. I'll take one stone, please. Okay. Uh, did I? You give me my point. Yep. So sure. you got two points. I got one. You went on top. From there, yeah. So that's fine. Okay. Next. Even Stevens. Maniba. Uh, yeah. Even Stevens. So we both get two points. So blue and yellow both get two nice. points. There we go. And she's happy. Both okay. gods happy. Both gods happy. Oh. All done. <laughs> right. Next, we resolve the events. So we're going to go back to the board here. And at this point, we are now going to go through these four events. So first of all, it is Maniba. This is what she's doing. But thankfully, because her wrath level is down to one, 
she is only going to affect everything within range one of where she is, which is this, which means it's just this island, and there's a locust swarm spreads across this island, kills all of the corn farms, but there are none there. So that, that's that's her done. The second event is the tsunami. So the tsunami is, is here. This is where it was decided. But the tsunami's power is based on Maniba's wrath level. So this is one. And what happens with the tsunami is basically it floods everything around it. So all that means is we lose that. Okay? But just think, if this was, say, here and her wrath was at three, mm. it would have flooded this entire area of the board. So this map is going to be changing as, as, as the game dynamic, goes on. It? Yeah, it's very dynamic. Wait till you see the volcano. I don't yeah. think we're going to get anything <laughs> like we had this explosion, afternoon, which, yeah. was, which was massive. Right, now we have the Conquistadors. So in, in age one, we only have one Conquistador ship, uh, but there could be up to three. And the Conquistadors will try and go for their nearest island. If there was a tie, there are tie break rules based on the number of settlements and the number of people. As it is, this is the nearest island, so it attacks, the Conquistadors attack all of the settlements on this island. There are no settlements on the island, so what it does is it actually establishes a fort and it uses a priority system of forests first. We have two forests, so it's the player who is last in turn order, which is orange. Yeah. You decide which forest it goes on, I believe. Okay, let's do this closest one then. Okay, and conquistadors come with, uh, conquistador forts come with two conquistadors. Okay, so that's the conquistadors done. And then the fourth effect uh, is Akarans, and he's basically got, he's got a range of one, so it, it's this island, and it destroys all of the pig farms, and it destroys the wood resources. That's it. We got off lightly. That's quite tame. We get, we get that one like quite nicely under control. Compared yeah. to the game this afternoon, yeah, right, bad it, was, it was absolute <laughs> chaos. Uh, it was not good at all. But that's the events. That's how the events work out. Next, we have learning. So at this point, if, you are, if your noble is in a settlement with another player who knows how to do something, you can learn. So I have a noble here who is yep. going to learn how to fish. So to Take the cube off. Yeah, and I have a noble over there, so I learn. And goats. you learn how to do goat breeding. Same with me. And you learn, so I'm teaching you both how to do the way of the goat. Appreciate it. Okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Step eight. Now this is an end game check. If any of the gods' wrath is is at the top level, the game is now over, and all players lose. Otherwise, all players at this point check to see if they have at least one noble and one villager on the board. If what if if somebody doesn't. The game is also over, but rather than everybody losing, you just go straight to end of game scoring, but the player who didn't have a noble and a villager is out of the game. They haven't survived, but you count up the points for the other players. Right. In the third age, the game would end at this point, but in ages one and two, we do this. And the first one... Right. Now, this is the bit that we haven't talked about, but in age one, we saw what these two cards are. They have now been resolved. And we also saw what this card was. This card was telling us where the things are going to happen. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, there's two seers who work for us. And as I mentioned at the start, what you've got to do is you've got to provide stuff that can be burnt to create fire so that the seers can basically predict the future. Uh, and that is done in one of two ways. There are two prophecies. The first prophecy is to reveal these two cards. One prophecy will reveal both of these cards. And the other prophecy reveals the next card with the numbers on. Okay? Now, if we don't do anything, it's all secret. Which means we don't get to see in advance anything. And all of that stuff that just happened will happen, but without any knowledge. Um, you know, we, we won't see any of it in advance. Quite interesting to see what would happen. <laughs> it, it would. And I, I'm, I'm tempted to do it one day just out of... <laughs> Morbid um, curiosity. But yes. at this point in the game, step nine in age one we get the opportunity to provide fire to the seers. This is done, first of all, in the order, the reverse order of the disc. So, JP, do you want to provide two things that can be burnt, which is manure, wood, and wheat, in any combination? I do. I'm going to uh, donate wood and wheat. Okay. So what happens is you put those two here, and you actually get a point for doing that. That's why I want to do it, yeah. 
and that is the first seer done. If JP didn't do it, it would go to the next player in sequence who would get the opportunity to do it, etc, etc. But the first seer is now done. Now we do the second seer, and this is again resolved in this order, but this time it's Rob first. Manure and wood. Okay. So that's... You put two discs on there, two discs and on you there. get a point. Okay, and that is it. So I didn't get a chance to contribute, which is good, because I didn't actually have two fire anyway. Um, but the seers are now sorted. What that means is we are going to see those, those cards at the start of the next round. And then the last step is we adjust turn order. So it is same. exactly the same as it is, because it goes in the reverse order of the discs. Mm -hmm. So the turn order doesn't change. And that is the end of the first age. We remove these offering cards to reveal the next ones. We get back all of our stuff that we put on them. Uh, we'll leave them there for now. Oh, sorry. You just remember that they're there. That comes off, that comes off. Now, just before we move to age two, I wanted to say a big thank you to everybody who has watched this video so far and has seen enough and has now decided, right, yep, yeah, we've seen enough of the game. Thank you very much. Obviously, for those people who carry on watching, great, bear with us. Um, but I also wanted to say a big thank you to Lolo for asking me to do a video for this game. Lolo actually approached me middle of last year uh, and asked me to create a video on the game. And I unfortunately, my workload was too high that I said, I'm not going to be able to fit this in. However, I then went to see him at Essen, looked at the game and went, I'd really love to be able to try and fit this in. Because, <laughs> you know, for those of you that watch my channel regularly and know the kind of games that I like, you already know that this is the kind of game that I, I enjoy playing. There's quite a lot going on in this game, mm -hmm. um, and there's a, there's a lot of depth to it. And also, just before we continue, a big thank you to all of my patron supporters for helping fund the channel. Uh, if you like the content that I create and you want to support the channel directly, you can do so at patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. Right. Are we ready for age two? Crack on. There so, is. age two, strategy phase. Oh, we need the new card. We do. We need to know what's going on. So, we first of all, we roll the dice for the ships that are depicted on the card. Okay, so we've got a white and a grey. We have a white and a grey, so we roll. The white ship is a bit, oh, they're both the same. Now, that is in the rules, I think. So we do the white first, then the grey, so we'll have to re-roll the grey. Do we re-roll the grey? Well, because we do it in this order, don't we? So. Yeah, but I'm, no, I mean in the rules about what happens if they both roll the same. I'm, I'm, I'm going to check. I assume you re-roll, but it didn't happen in our previous playthroughs. So we will just check. Placement of Conquistador ships. Ships can share chasms. Oh, even worse. Wow. Okay. okay, so the Conquistadors, both the white and the grey ship, are arriving here. Now that's bad news. They really news. like you, don't they? Yeah. yeah, bad news for anybody who just happens to have <laughs> got a nice settlement in this area. Oh dear. Yeah, right, okay. Next. Okay, so if at this point we didn't have any discs in this area, we wouldn't reveal any cards, and we would just move on. Now, if we if we only had one player who did this, then they choose to either reveal the next one of these cards, or they reveal both of these. Because we were good, and we, did, we, we, we gave uh, fire to both of the seers, we get to see everything. So if you take your discs back... So we know what and where. Yeah, yep. so do you want to take the cards and decide where? Just pick one. Not a random and Rob, one, is it? Yeah, it can be a random one. Rob, do you want to turn okay, those over? Let's see what we've got. So, right. Volcano Boy. A Corrin. The, it's the Mountain Earthquake. Okay, Tremors. The birds flee in flocks as if they know something horrid is coming. Then the livestock goes crazy. And finally, the mountain roars, opens up and swallows everything. So what that's going to do is it's going to remove the herds from the islands within its impact area. All goats... Villagers and nobles on them die, and we remove the mineral tokens from the islands. Now, where is that happening? So he's going to three. So a Koran is there, and his current wrath is one. So it's it's at the oh. moment it's just going to be this island. Is it just goats? He's and here. it's just goats. It's tremor. So it's not going to do anything. Yeah. At the moment, unless someone decides. To unless build somebody there. decides to build that, which is what I was going to do at the end of the <laughs> yeah. Okay. Maybe not now. Yeah. Uh, right, Maniba's cat catastrophe. Rob, do you want to pick Maniba's catastrophe? Maniba. Oh, it's the. Uh, oh the right. Hits. So we got this this afternoon. This is this is one of the cool ones. Um, so this is 
uh, San Borondon. A dense mist rises on slopes and meadows until it covers the entire island and makes it disappear. It will remain hidden for years, decades, or perhaps forever. So what's going to happen is, let's see where she is. Yeah, she Age is two. six. Age two, she's on six. She's, she's, she's... She goes on a volcano. Yes, yeah. right. she goes on a volcano. Okay, so her range is currently one. So what that means is... It's, that it's, it's just this island. It's going to disappear. It's literally going to be removed from the game. And we're going to cover up the volcano space uh, with a water space. Okay, now... If her wrath increases to two, then she's going to take yeah, this sure. island as well. Yeah, all islands within the impact range. So if it, if it increases to two, both of these islands get removed from the game. And this afternoon's game that we played, which is available for patron supporters, if you want to see it, it's on the channel as a private video. We had a volcano go off, which covered this entire half of, or third of the map. And then in age three... The whole thing disappeared. <laughs> it was very cool. This is not quite as epic. Um, right, what else do we have? Uh, we have no tidal wave on this one, but we do have a volcano. Yeah. So where does the volcano appear? Number one. The volcano appears on... Oh, dear. Number one. Now, a volcano, when that goes off, the volcano uses the wrath level of Akaron which again is one. And what it's going to do is it's basically going to spread land across the entire board, destroying everything in there except other volcanoes. So at the moment, it's on one, which means all of this is going to get destroyed and it's going to get turned into mountain, which is going to come with minerals. So more minerals are going to appear during the game. Um, but that's assuming they stay on one. If they go up to two then all sorts of things are going to change. Yeah. Right. What do we now do? We now plan, so we discuss how we're going to deal with this. Because in age two, we have to provide that, that, and that for her, and that, that, and that for him. So we need obsidian, wheat, uh, or straw, and pork yeah. from pigs, yeah. fish, raw pigs, and salt. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to need to use some prisoners, I think. I Otherwise, think, yeah. Because we physically haven't got enough pigs to do the pigs and the pork. Because somebody I, I can do fish and salt quite simply. Even if I hadn't, we'd still be running very short. So. Yeah. Agreed. So I, I've got I the goat situation got lucky sorted. They both come out on the same turn. Yeah. And I've gone with the goat strategy. I've got like six goats, and the goat stuff is irrelevant. <laughs> Nobody wants it. That's got to come off, hasn't it? Oh dear. Oh. No, you see the cheese isn't isn't even needed. That's yeah. H three. So the salt, the salt and the fish are renewable and easily doable. As is the as is the corn. Well, especially for you because you oh, got now that the obsidian is sort of needed for t sort of to take out the. We may have to just admit that one of them is going to go berserk. W one or both of them. Because yeah. <laughs> I'm afraid. Territory up the north, yeah. I'm afraid I can't really do very much. Oh. So we'd reset. Yeah. So. Just yeah. So at the back, end of the age, cylinders, cylinders burn. Go. Cubes come back. Wow. Mm. Um. It's almost that one. It. This one's would be less damaging, but this is also the easier one to do. It is. This for me. It's 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 walkers, hands, two, two of them are renewable. Yeah. I mean, am I worried about? As long as I've got four weapons... And they're not risk, yeah. yeah, you just need four the, weapons. Then the white ones arrive and I fight them off, and, and then the grey ones arrive and I fight them off, and, and I gain you, points and, and, I, get and I get conquistadors. Yeah, so as long world. as I spend this turn getting weapons... Yeah. Which you could do... By killing through, goats. By killing goats, yeah. You've got, you've got a few goats there. Then you maybe can, I shouldn't be worried about this. You could some more in and... Them I mean, this one's mine as well. This yeah. this is going to go from the volcano. Course, yeah. No matter what, that's going to go from the volcano. Yeah, so you might as well put them to good use. I, I think I think they need to go to good use. <laughs> sorry, so, sorry, sorry, Mr. Goat. <laughs> okay, secret objectives. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, him. yeah, for those of you that are thinking, where's the secret objectives? Here we go. We do this all over again. We, yeah. we only do this in ages one and two. 
And this is done in reverse player order. So again, it's the same order as last time. Oh, mm. gosh. <laughs> I do like this part of the game. This is it's, this is quite. It's, it's an interesting decision. Space. It is. Uh, I think it's going to have to be that one. And okay. Plus oh, I choose minus. first, is it? You yeah. choose first. Minus just, one, just please. Here. Mm. Oh, somewhere, somewhere that we can see it. We just took these under there. Rob, you've gone with the plus one. Plus, we'll have to. So much left, is there? I'm also going to go with the plus one. So that's it. That's the secret objectives will be revealed at the end of the game. And we'll see how we get on with them. Right, okay. So now we go on to the action phase. And the turn order is... Me. Same as it was last round. It was. So... Just to give you a recap on the points, Rob and JP are on two, and I'm on three. <laughs> yeah. It's a big scoring We're game. On. We're not quite there yet. So I think in order to rush... The offerings I'm going to produce. Okay. So that is How many four villages on coast. Four villages on coastal settlements. So you get four fish. Four fish. You get, you've got two different coastal settlements. You get two plus, plus your one. bonus one. Yeah. Three salt. I'm not going to do this. That's You're fine. You're not going to turn any fish no. into smoked fish. So that's absolutely fine. First action done. Now, do I want a double move? That is the question. <laughs> Could do some more stuff. He could go there. He could go. Why did I want to move? Because of the offerings. One, <sighs> two. What's happening with him again? He is goats. The goats. He's killing all goat farms yeah. within his range and destroying all mineral resources. So That's right now he's doing nothing. Right now he's doing absolutely nothing. But he's also nothing. the trigger for how big the volcanic eruption is. Yeah, yeah so, so right, if we ignore so it, it's going to become a bit of a... He will, no, it won't. Cause it's, right now it's destroying these. Yeah. If, we if he nothing, goes to two, it's going to go there. Yeah. And we're going to end up with one big island here. It's almost to our benefit let it happen, isn't it? You know what, I'm going to do... <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I'm going to do a double explore. Um, I need him there. I want him to go here. Yeah. And is there anything else I want to move? Figure out the lines. Yeah. You know what? I won't do a double if you don't mind. Just, Just a single? Yeah. Yep. It's one, two, and then I think that's all I want to do. Okay. Right now, I can't think. Do I want to move him? Does it make sense? Probably not. So I'll just do that. Um, you get the resources. Get the resources. So that is a. Now, one thing we didn't mention about the wood tiles, and I'll just show you this wood tile because we've just been turning them over and getting the resources. But the wood tiles are based on. The, the age in which you take the tile. Now, thematically, that means that we've left it long enough that more trees have grown. So if you take this tile in round one of the game, it would get you two wood. Because he's taking it in age two, actually gets three wood for this one tile. There you go. Thank you. And I'm going to make an offering. So, three salt. Three salt. On that gets you an idol because you're the first player to have contributed to that. Three fish. Look at that. Done. So you get your one idol. And I will do one obsidian over the other side. Just so I can get the second idol. Two idols, yep. Oh, right, okay, yeah. Anyways, what kind of filthy, low, disgusting person just yeah. sneaks <laughs> both <laughs> idols at the start of the game? I've learned from the best part. <laughs> 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 I say, I did that this afternoon. I did, I, I did and turn Rob one. copied it. Yeah. Right. right. Okay, you're done with your two actions. I'm done. I think. I'll take a look at the rule book if that's okay. Yeah. Just to quickly check these there you go. out. I think I know what they are. Okay. So the question now is why do we want to bother? Uh, 
Alright. Yeah, that's two actions, isn't it? Yeah. That's what I want to do. So, um, that's a very simple first action. I'm just going to. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay. And he is going to move from here to here for one. Yep. Two. And three. Him onto the volcano, please. Thank you very much. Don't um, forget, we can sacrifice our own people, yep. including the person who is doing the sacrificing, should yeah. we be desperate. desperate. And I think... Because the problem is, me and Rob, we're going to have to build... If, if we breed this turn, we're going to have to build our cave. If we breed. We might choose not yeah. to. Yeah. By splitting our people up. And I think from that, I will then sacrifice three piggies. So one... Two, three. Okay, so we've done that. We've appeased him. Yep, he's he's appeased. So he's he's sorted. But she isn't. Oh, well, she need pork and wheat. Yep. Okay. And we want to just quickly chuck something in there too. We got yeah, we need cooked pigs, which we just haven't got because it was one or the other sort of thing. So it's possible we're going to lose both these islands to the um, to the mists. To, to the mists. Yep. But. We are pretty sure that we're only going to be having a level one volcano. Yeah. This turn. We've got him under. You seem to have him nicely under control. Yeah. Uh, anything else I want to quickly drop down? I'm also just going to quickly chuck in a single obsidian to this one. While you're there. Yep. Okay. Cool. No second action? Uh, no. No, I'm fine. Well, I'm still desperately short on resources, with not many places where there is actually resources left without losing points. So, it is a little tricky. Um, but I also want to get this out of the way. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to produce. Now, I just I don't know whether to do a double production or not. Um, I mean, double production is being a little bit greedy, but it all depends what the next card is. Does milk spoil? Milk does spoil. It does. And milk is not needed this turn, so no. there's no point in me keeping the milk if you can't turn it to cheese. If yeah. I can't, yeah. yeah. So. Let's do double production. Right, I have this is this is this is insane. I have six goats. So I get six milk. Okay, I'm then gonna kill four. So four goats get killed. Four horns and four goats. So I get yeah, four horns, which is basically weapons, and four goat meat. Goat meat got a name? It's just goat meat. It just goat yeah. meat. Doesn't have a fancy name, does now it? Now that's going to spoil, but I could eat it. Yeah. Okay. And then I am spending one wood to turn that six milk into six cheese. So I've got eight cheese. That's going to be a remark that Paul is the king of cheese. I think just did I, did, did, have, I, have I done that? No, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I'm doing this whole thing twice. Yeah. So it's actually more. Even more. Yeah. yeah. So the first time round, I'm not going to do any of the bottom two. No. The second time round, so I get another six. Then I kill then four. Kill yeah. And then I get, so I've got 14 cheese. That's, 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 14, that's cheese for the game. And, 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 it, and, it, and it doesn't go off. And no, this... nothing goes off because I've got this big deep hole. Now, yeah. I am prepared to trade this cheese for the stuff that I actually need, which is... <laughs> Clay now, stone, have you, got, have you got the most cheese wood and obsidian? <laughs> that that would be great if I had a if I had a most cheese card. Um, but that's my first first action. Yeah. My second action is to move. So oh, it 
it's so inefficient. Because I don't have a wood. So we're going to... Now, I'm temp... Oh no, I need two there to fight off the Conquistadors. At least two, yeah. Uh, yeah, at least two need to stay there to fight them off. Um, so, yeah, we're going to move one. Move two. Now, where am I going to go? Sail away, sail away. <laughs> yeah, run away. <laughs> now, where do we want to go? Do we want this settlement? Which is going to generate... No, I'll just, I'll just go there. Okay, that's two. There's some more goat farming. And three is going to be... It's interesting how the canoes move around. Yeah. Just saving you that wood. Mm. The last game we had, oh, they've got ten. The, the little canoes on the map, yeah. yeah. That's three. I'm now here, so I'm going to build... Goat farm. Another goat farm, yeah. and I'm going to attract two goats from the wilderness. Nice. That's my goat farm. That is it. That is my two actions. I am done. Okay. Over to me. Yes. I'm going to do a development, or double development. Double development. So I'm going to pay a wood, obsidian, clay, and stone. Nice. To get these two off. Okay. My first trick. And... Do I want to do a double explore? Yeah, I do. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll develop that into a pig farm. Okay. Now, no, I can't attract. You can, but if you do, you'll only get one and you will lose a point for depleting uh, the wilderness of pigs. No, I forgot about that. Forgot about the fact there was no pigs there because Robert depleted them. Well, there's one because I ate all the piggies. But he still doesn't reproduce. He, he won't know. Oh well. Okay, that's that's fine. Now that's fine. And I've still got another. It still produces manure even though there's no pigs in it. <laughs> yeah. Whose manure is it though? It's the no. Don't ask questions. You don't, really <laughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> yeah. At least I can burn that, and it gives me some burnable resources, I suppose. I was thinking I might be able to get some pigs. They don't ever grow, do they? Like, that's it. No. Nope. It's stuck. No, nope. now that there's one pig here. The only time that we would get more in the wilderness is if you abandoned a village that had them in. And they went back. Then they'd run, they'd run away to the wilderness yeah. where they would then breed, yeah. and then we could uh, get them again. But realistically, not going to happen now in this game. No. No, it's not. Not in the three ages that we've got. Okay, so I think the next movement then is to take a couple of guys. That's one. Okay. I think that's it. Right, Rob. Yeah. I'm open for trade. If anybody wants any cheese, let me know. You've got plenty okay. of I'm going to do a bit of collecting so here. So much cheese. So I've got two pig farms. So that's two manure. Two manure. And I've got one lippy left, which is now going to be converted into... So that, that piggy that we were talking about is now an ex-piggy. Yep. I don't have any salt, so let's, I'm not going to smoke Let's hope it. the offerings next to yeah. are not pigs. Yeah, we well, yeah, <laughs> meet again. Well, we're going to have to use we, your We've got problems. we, we so got big we, problems. We, we have a good supply of long pig, so... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes, it's, it's highest quality Spanish chorizo, <laughs> made from real Spanish. <laughs> All right. Uh, yep, that's my action. All done? Yep. Just in the one action? Just gathering some... Gathering some muck and a bit of pork. Well, I'm going to move again. Because How much pork have we got between us? Just one. one. Yeah, we we'll have one haunter. We've eaten all the pigs. There's one wild pig. Uh, <laughs> when do the keys for all 
Bolt's attack in relation you can't to the offering. Do that. There. Which is after the offering. Unless you're moving, oh, you're moving through. You can... You're right. I cannot. My villagers cannot end up in a, a village occupied by other villagers. Through it, they can't but you can move through. But they can move through. So the first movement was into there. The second movement will then be just there. Okay. Okay. So that's two movements. Third movement. I got. I got to do it. I'll lose the point. We're all on the same points again now. But I get three yeah, wood. Yeah. I just haven't got any crippling resources. Yeah. Um, done. Okay. Yep. Didn't I get an idol? I don't know. Why would you have got an idol? I, I can't remember. This is the last game. I had loads. <laughs> I don't so, have any in this game. Thinking, are they any good? We'll, we'll come back to. Back to me, yeah? Yes. Has bacon, says Monica. <laughs> <laughs> I will produce. Okay. So that is. Um, you have three one, figs. Two, two three. three. So you get three figs. And then two hay. Two, two. two straw and two cereal. And you can convert the cereal into. I think I will actually. Orange. Or whatever it is. Whatever it Roasted is. wheat. Roasted flour wheat stuff. All of it. Might as well. That's all it's for, I think. Unless well, there's a... it's, it's the uh, spoilage, isn't it? So I can oh, of course, three. yeah. Yeah, because raw grain doesn't spoil. Raw grain doesn't spoil, but once you've roasted it, yeah. So I might keep that. Just trying to think of what I've got left. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, potentially six. So that would be. Yeah, let's do another one. Fine. All done. Is that my first? Yep. Hmm. Now I've done that, do I want to move again? Yeah, I'm going to explore. The problem is with me not going there at all. I'm not getting any yeah. resources for the offering, but I haven't got anything. Can't do any of that. Oh, man. These pigs. These pigs. This pig thing. These, these pig things. These pig things are annoying, aren't they? Um, these no, I'm going to do pigs. Double. So, one, two, three. Uh -huh. That's the first thing. Nothing else I can do there. I'm going to have to spend a boat because someone's nicked it. Thank you. So, one. You're going to end up there, not because you're doing all lines like that. It's there. Or, or did you want to go from there to there? Where were you? There and get off there. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, so if you, started, if you went, here, started here. Started there. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. right. So it's because you put the boat down there and then... Sorry, yeah, I was just yeah. throwing it on the board. It's just not helpful, is it? And actually, is that even where I wanted to go? The on the, on the island that's likely to disappear? Yeah, well... It's fine. That's the plan. It's fine. If I had a smoke machine... I'd so that was yeah. one, right? That was one. <laughs> so I could go... Two... And then three, and end up over here, yeah? Yep. Take that clay. Okay. Which means that boat would have gone deep, deep there. There we go. Oh, four clay. Lovely. Wow. Nice. Okay, all done? Yeah, I needed to just get them away. And yeah. and then while I'm there, I can just convert that into a... You can. A coastal, coastal settlement. settlement. You got one? Yeah, I've got one. Okay. I'm gonna go here, spend two wood and a clay to create both of them. And then I'm gonna go here, spend wood to build a cave. Yep. Wood, a clay, and a stone mm -hmm. to also build my cave.
Shelter. Yeah. Shelter. So. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to spend a clay, a wood, and a stone. You just feel like, oh, it costs an action. <laughs> but it's. Build you my cave. You don't want people to die, do you? And my second action. I, I think I'm going to skip my second action. Might okay. come back to it later. Yeah, fine. Should have done that before I left. Silly man. No, oh, no, it's fine. I've got things to burn. Yeah, might as well just do that. Develop. Okay. So clay and clay stone. stone. That's that gone? Fully locked. There we go. It's better than last time. You've got everything off. Got everything off. Wow. I think that starting with the extra that helps that's a massive and yeah. getting that training early yeah and i got an extra action. yeah that worked so it was pretty good yep yeah. rob so i will skip yes that's, i'll skip because actually yeah. Was, uh, too hard. yeah i'm not sure there's anything else i want to do Some moving. Okay. There's very little left now, isn't there? Yep. So I'm going to go up one. So we've decided we cannot appease the uh, the sea goddess. No. <laughs> Conquistadors are going to snuff it. Yeah, they're, they're just going to come here, attack me. I'm no, going to no. fight them off with my goat horns. No, oh, these ones. These chaps. Yeah. Are oh, they're going to disappear. They're going to yeah, sink to move on to there. But they are going to take this. And then th mm, that's yeah. a slight. But then I'll just attack them next turn. Yeah. It's just take them back again. Three, build another canoe. Except I'm running out of goat horns. To move down to here. So build it there. Put it there. Yeah. So that was one. And I'll now build a farm here, please. A pig farm? No, wheat farm. Wheat farm. Thank you. Corn farm. Yep. Okay. And then. My second, second of two. One, two, three. And bought another wheat farm there. Another please. one there, okay. Thank you. I'm gonna pass, so I'm, I'm done. Anything I want to do now. More than happy to trade if anybody wants to come and say hello. Mm, all of we are sharing, aren't we? Oh, I did go there. I forgot uh, to trade. I'll resolve it now. Yeah. I would have done. Right. Did you want any cheese? Have <laughs> you got any obsidian or antlers? Uh, I do have horns, but I kind of want to keep them. Okay. I need them. You need them to defend themselves. Yeah. That's fine. I'd like some clay. I'll happily do clay for cheese on a one for one no, basis. I'm, I'm fine for food. I like to keep my resources. That was, okay. that was something that would, would have made my life easier. Okay. I think I will also pass. Okay. So you both passed? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So You've got loads of actions left. Yep. Yeah, got a lot of stuff to do. Saving these two. So. Learn my lesson in the last game. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Brenda. My my Im impression of it from spending the day playing it is that there is a, a very strong thematic grounding mm. in a lot of the rules, um, especially the learning. The learning I don't think I've seen in a game before. You physically have to take your piece to somebody else's settlement and get them to teach you something, which makes absolute sense. Yeah, completely. The way that you teach each other skills. Um, but the way the offerings work as well, and the, the fact you have to appease the gods, otherwise they get angry... Uh, and they have effects based on how angry they are. That that all works quite nicely as well. What we haven't mentioned is we haven't mentioned these end game scoring cards. Um, these were chosen at the start of the game. I, I can't remember if I mentioned them or not, but yeah, we've got those that we're aiming for. Uh, and yeah, there'll be a solo playthrough on Monday. I will be learning how to play the solo game on Monday morning, and then I'll be doing a live stream Monday afternoon, probably two o'clock uh, GMT on Monday afternoon. 
uh, and I'll be I'll be covering the solo game. Now the solo game is essentially the same as the cooperative game, just with one player. So you're going to see how it plays because there is a cooperative version of the game as well. Oh, oh, oh! Well, I love it when Rob makes that noise because oh. it means he's miscalculated something. <laughs> or he's broken. <laughs> or, or he's found a way of completely destroying another player. Uh, players. Players. Okay. Do you have? Okay. Right. One second. Oh, what are you doing? So uh, that's it. I was taking a move. Yeah. Standard move action. And we're going to go. Oh, so you're leaving. Yep. But I want you to teach me the way of the pig. Oink oink. One. Oops, sorry. He said no, thank you. I'm out of here. And then two to jump onto and take them out. Yeah. So one to there and then two to here, yeah. taking those out using two. Two obsidian. Or I use an, obs an obsidian and a horn, so I have two okay. obsidian left. So you get a point. I do. Defeating yes. some conquistadors and you put them in your. Two, two conquistadors. Sacrificial. Home. Okay. Um, so you both now passed. Yeah. Yeah. We're all done. Okay. I now play this card. Um, move her. No idea. Oh dear. To here. Seriously? Oh, didn't yeah. even know that existed. <laughs> oh no. That um, gets replaced. No wonder you were laughing. Yep. Oh dear. With a corn farm. Can, can I replace it with something? Yeah. Corn farm, yeah. please. Oh, that is a nasty move. Didn't even know that card existed. <laughs> no. I have appeased the goddess and she shifted on. Oh, oh dear. dear. I would dear, say dear. I'm sorry, but it's just too you know, hilarious. Dear, really I'm, not, I'm not in the slightest sorry, bit sorry. I'm not sorry. It's not enough to work about the game, but you've, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm an half. I'm an awful human being. You are, you've, you got are. Live, you've got to live with this. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be what is this? It's going to be warm and fuzzy for the next <laughs> week. <laughs> Damn, that's like half of my population. Yeah. yeah. I'm just looking to see if there's any more corn farms in the game. Yeah, corn farms. I think we might be out of corn farms. Might so be just what we've used. Because I'm only seeing two. If Lolo is three, still watching. One, two, three, four, five. Let us know if it's a hard limit. There are six of them in the game. Where's the sixth one then? How many do we have? One, two, three. I count five on the map. So we're missing a corn farm. Let me just check. One, two, three. No, no, it's where they are. Sorry, it's less there. Okay. No, that's it. Yes, I can't. So there are six included with the game, so it doesn't look like you can build another corn farm. So okay. they are a limited supply. No cheese for you. No cheese for me. No cheesecake, in fact. We've got a cheesecake <laughs> I'm, downstairs. I'm getting kicked out of the house. Defrosting. Oh, I'm chased off. Any now. No. Um, you drowned us all. <laughs> that's frustrating. Uh, that is shocking. Yeah. Put the uh, just a swift knee in the happy sacks there. Uh, that is, yeah. Ouch. Right. Where uh, I? Um, what was I doing next? Yes, then I was going to now do... Now it causes spoilage. It causes all sorts of causes, causes spoilage. And I just, just caused major catastrophes here. Yeah. We're going to go for horrible. this, and I'm going to do production twice. So, first pass, I've got two guys on farms. That's two corn and two of them. Mm -hmm. Then we pass again. Yeah, two more of each. And then. And are you converting anything into roasted wheat? <laughs> oh no, this is really bad. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so we're just going to play the two age variant, which I've just come up with. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I will then turn <laughs> those into. My nobles here going. Where's where where's Rob gone? <laughs> He's just... where, and where's all the pigs gone? <laughs> what, what's that dark cloud heading directly towards my little settlement? Deserted. And I'll turn three. Well, at least wheat she's only taking one island with her. Into three. Because um... if it was that one, game would be over. Because I'd have lost both of my nobles. Oh, if yeah, hit both of them. Yeah. No, I was careful not to actually end the game by doing that. Well, no, you, if the game ends because one player doesn't have the pieces, there is still a winner. Yeah. But that player can't win. 
So there might be a reason to do there it. Might if be, you yeah, are if you're able to do it, then absolutely. Okay, I think I'm done there. And I've... are you quite finished? <laughs> you finished. I mean, this is this game has gone very, very differently. It's really oh, it's different game. Game. This afternoon, we have empty settlements yeah, everywhere. It's, it's definitely a different feel. Yeah. And theoretically, yeah. we should know more what we're doing in this game. I'm going to end it there. Okay. Good. Yes. <laughs> okay. No, wait, no, no, tell her. Oh. On, on last. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm no. going to end it there. Right. Breeding. So I get one of those, and I get a goat, and oh, I get I another know. goat. You've done enough damage. Oh, we get to we feed get a goat before here. this yeah. shenanigans happens, don't we? That's a bit better. Any other breeding? You breeding. get one there, you get one there. Yeah. No, that's too late now. That's fine. Animals have bred. Conquistadors. Oh, sorry. So I, yeah, I, I meant, to, them. meant to get them leveled up, so I shot myself a bit in the foot there. Okay. Right. Feeding. So I now have Six. five. And this is going to spoil. Four. One of those. One, now. Two, three. Oh. I. Oh, I've mucked up with the food as well. Bothered about it spoiling. Lose points, don't you? Oh yeah, you lose points. Do you lose points as well? Well, no. Or is so it only when you trigger that. Only lose? when only when three can go on there, okay. But when the fourth one goes on there, you're the person that triggers. Yeah. Now I just need because we didn't get any spoilage in no, the game this it, afternoon. So I want to just check. Is it that garbage? Person? Players must check if there are any perishable resources. Move the remaining resources to the garbage. The deposit has a maximum capacity. If this limit is ex exceeded, increase a Coran's wrath level by one and remove from the deposit as many resources as there are players. The player with the most resources on the garbage loses one point and their resources are removed first. Negative a point if you have the most. Okay, so it's, it's, it's the, yeah. yeah. So it's negative one point if you are the player okay. with the it's most resources on there at the point triggers where it triggers so it's not the end of the world having the odd one in there as long as so one two three four yeah so i think i'm, I'm just going to eat three four five and that is going to go to spoil okay so i've eaten five five food You've eaten five. Okay, so oh, how okay. how do we? So we do we have to feed in the most efficient way of no, spending it? I think you can feed them in whatever way you yeah, want. Okay. So, are you... so could I start by spending four fruit? You must feed each villager on the board. Um, each unfed villager will die. Yeah, that's exactly what I did. I did it unefficiently, to burn because I didn't want to spoil. If you spend a portion of a resource to feed your last villager, you will not receive the excess rations. Oh, nor will looks it like generate I've done something waste. wrong here. Um, what have we done wrong? No reproduction on terrain, just settlements. Oh, so if I had the guy there, so you can. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yes, only settlements. In that case, I'd, I'd, I would have just built. Something. You would have built a settlement. Yeah. You would have built a pig farm. Pig farm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for that. Yeah. It is. Yeah. No. No pigs on it. They've got to have a house. Yeah. To, <laughs> to go to. Not just in random fields. Okay, or... thank you for that. Good to know. Prisoners do not breed. No. It would make sense, but yeah, yeah. You know, we, we keep them apart. They're in separate cells. Yeah. Right, so I need to pay five. Feeding. You need to pay five. So I've got four fruit. Yep. Yeah. And then a three from there. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. So one, two, three, four, and then I overpay. Just one yeah, with one that. of your villagers is having yeah, a feast. You can do that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, one of your villagers has got a lot of uh, feast in full it. belly. Yep. Okay, so we've all fed, so nobody lost any people. Spoilage. One from you. Uh, none from me. None from me. No spoilage. Okay, so it didn't it's exceed, right. which means no points are lost, which means nobody gets angry. Yeah. Right. Everybody got. A, we've all got caves now. All good. Yep. So nobody dies from having nowhere to sleep. And now we do the offerings. So first of all, Curran is fully appeased. So that can't go down any further. Red gets two points. Thank you. One, two. Yellow gets one point. Yep. Okay. Next, over here. Ooh, she's not happy. 
That goes up by one. You two both get two points. It's not happy, but we're still getting points. Points, huge. <laughs> Absolutely huge. Right. Um, so we've done that. Now we do the events. So first of all, it is Maniba's event. She has a range of two. So every island within two, this which one, is man. just that one, completely disappears. It is, it is oh, no my longer... My population is dead. Yeah. Thanks, Rob. Anytime. <laughs> That's completely gone. Now, and what, all your goats. Yeah. So now, do these actually go back onto your board? You yeah. So, so the, the villagers go back onto the board. The nobles Die. get destroyed. So there's your dead noble. So there's yours. There's your. Oh God! Sorry, I didn't realize there were that many of them there. Just, that is catastrophic. Yeah. So the noble dies. Uh, the animals, I think, go back to the supply. I don't think they go to the wilderness. No. Oh no! In fact, they're removed from the game. Right. Yeah, they they don't go back to the supply. They are. They are gone, gone, gone. You cannot get any more. Is that, so you still have to feed them then? Or is it just, no, you just, you just no, they're gone. on the map? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, the goats are gone, or the goats are gone. Goats are gone. Goats, goats are gone. Goats are gone. Every, it says from the game. So ne from now on, Everybody's we can't just though. look here. And does that mean these are gone as well? So we, we still are down a... I think so. Okay. So they're I mean, it, it does Ooh. say... <laughs> Sorry. That was, that was a bit of the old magical nuke going on there. It does say that they are removed from the game. Okay. Tactical news. So yeah. that's that's her power done. Now we have the volcano. So the power of the volcano <laughs> is only one, unfortunately. So what we do with it when a volcano goes off is basically we get rid of everything around it. Well, these tiles flip over because there's mountains on the other side. Mountains stay as mountains. Um, that becomes a mountain. These two become mountains. Uh, it doesn't affect other volcanoes. And then on each of the new mountains, we get these resources that we didn't put on the game at the start, but these are more minerals. And I say in the last game we played, it was a size three volcano, so it covered almost half the map. But that's the volcano. It's impressive. Yeah. Next, we have the white conquistador ship. So it goes for the nearest island, which is this one. There are two settlements on this island, so it attacks this one, defeats it. Two conquistadors here. Then it attacks me. I have two people defending. I use two goat horns. I fight them off. I win. I capture them. And I get a point. Yeah. Do it all over again. Then the grey ship arrives. Uh, there's already a settlement there. So it just con it just attacks me there. Uh, and, again, and then I do the same thing again. Nicely, nicely. Okay. That's that done. That's the ship's done. Then we have a Karen who kills all of the pigs within one and all of the minerals within one. So that's that's him no, done. Goats. Goats. Goats, 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 sorry. Minerals. Go yep. goats and minerals. Right, that is the events done. Learning. Anybody learning anything? No, I slipped away. I'm, I'm learning not to play games with you two. <laughs> <laughs> right. I thought you learned that lesson a while back, Paul. <laughs> Has the game ended? You back. Yeah. Oh, no, that wasn't mine. I, that, that died from this island down here. Can you try that back in the reserve? The game has not ended. So now we do Sears. Sears. Okay. So who's last in turn order? Me. You. Can I generate two fire? I could generate two fire, but that's my only wood. Do you want to? Hmm. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> A tough choice. It is. It is a very tough choice. Villagers affected by sand. Berendon return to the reserve. Oh, okay. It, it, so the rule book currently says removed from the game. But again, prototype copy of the game. So hopefully, if if the rule book says return to the reserve, the latest because version. Because the villagers are, you. Yeah, you can be yeah produce, exactly yeah. Hello. And otherwise, you wouldn't need a cave. Yeah. Okay. Um. I, I don't know, to be honest. Where are we at? So, it, it's whether I want to... Oh, see the, the, the flames. And the yeah. problem is... I mean, you, you've got too far. I've got you've up. got too far. You two could do it. The problem is I'm so far behind on points. Okay, I'm going to do it. I am going to put that on there yeah. to get a point. Okay. And then it's back to the... It's the second seer, and oh, I could you. do it, but yeah. I don't have it, so it goes to red. So I will do it. Which you get a point. Okay. 
Oh, you both did it, okay. Turn order. I am Friendship. now first player. You are third player. And that is the end of the second age. So, these cards come off. You get all your resources back. There you, go. Uh, you get your cubes back. The cylinders disappear. And we are now in the strategy phase of the final age of the game. So we go to the third event card. So that'll be all three ships. And because we are on here, we reveal all of the cards again. So same okay. as before, if you want to pick where it's going to happen. So. Uh, oh, it's, it's a with the big, fire on the back. scary looking wolf. There you go. Got him? Right, okay. So what have we got for Karen's power? It's a giant wolf. Giant wolf. Oh, uh, Tibisenas. They look like dogs until they stand on their hind legs and walk like people. These monstrous beasts appear in the night and only blood quenches their thirst. All animals on the islands within its impact area die. Also, half of each on the wilderness deposits, rounding down the number of victims. Return the affected goats and pigs to the reserve. Uh, walled settlements are not affected and you can save one settlement's livestock by spending a protection idol. Okay. So, where is he? He is five. Volcano five. He's gone. He's swallowed by the mists. Oh. So, what do we do? No he says, idea. cover any affected volcano with sea tiles. So, that is a question. Does he not spawn or does he... Yeah, I'll wait for the designer to answer it while yeah. I look in the rules to see if it's covered. Because it might say... Okay. Um, and I'll just say roll the dice and oh no, lady! Oh, it's a tropical storm by the looks of it. So I take a prophecy card. Uh, yeah, it's not it's not in the rules. So we'll wait for the designer to tell us what happens while we look at Maniba's card, yep. which is a now. twister. A whirlpool descends from the clouds and dances on the water. Oh, Maniba, how beautiful it is! Then it reaches the land and destroys everything in its path. Remove all herds from the island within the impact area. From islands within the impact area. All goats and no, natives no, that's die. No, oh, no, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Is it not? It's like a tropical storm. It's destroying Oh, the... tropical storm. Yeah. The breeze gives... The, the, the image... I got confused. Uh, yeah, the breeze coastal. gives way to gale, the, then rain, and finally a storm like no other. Remove the fishing settlements and clay tokens from all islands within impact area. All natives in these settlements die. Walled terrains or settlements are not affected. And you can also save one settlement by spending a protection at idle. So the question. So the question is, we have, uh, the card has determined that a car run is arriving on Volcano 5, but Volcano 5 is not there. So what do we do? Does, do we pick a different one for him? Or does he not show up? Or does he not show up? He totally should show up. Yeah, I can't imagine you wouldn't show up. So she's wrecking down there. She's she's, she's just going to destroy that basically. Yeah. yeah. Worst case. And and anyone who's there as well. Uh, yeah. We need to roll for there. all three of the Conquistador boats. Yep. And volcano. where's the volcano? Volcano is six. Okay. Run away. <laughs> run, Google, run quite right. fast. It does not show up. It doesn't show okay, up. Okay, so it doesn't show up. Eight, eight, seven. It's just. Seven. Two more over here. <laughs> Just insane. And seven, so over here. Where's the uh, where's the black conquistadors? There. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. Well, oh, they they well, love the it. Odds. But, but, but he's, but he's out of weaponry. They love it down here. Needs, uh, needs some training. I, mean, I just need to get this age over because I've I've lost this game. So <laughs> sooner it's over, the better. <laughs> It's yeah. Kill those goats, get the horns. Well, the, no, the plan was to kill the goats there oh, yeah. and get loads and loads of horns, and then I'd have been okay. But but someone decided to sink the that card was crazy. The island, right? We don't do secret somebody, objectives. Somebody ate the island. <laughs> so we should look at the planning. We now need to provide no, obsidian. Okay, he's or he's gone. Well, yeah, but we can still get the points. Yeah, through, but you yeah. don't use the left hand column. So we're using there, there, Sidian, and there. Sidian, goat, and meat. we're using uh, cereal, goat horns, and salted pork. Okay. Yeah, because that's like Monica's got to go. Thank you very much for joining in. Right now, the cyclone's not really. Although the cyclone will affect, but only if it gets to level three, which it currently isn't. Yeah, 
because she she's doing her stuff over here, which is not really going to affect anything. Yeah. Okay. Rock and roll. Well, I'm going first. Yes, you are. You are. Well, this is just crazy. Yeah. It's limiting having one noble, isn't it? Yeah, one, one noble and, and very few action markers. I mean, look at the resources that I've gained in this game. That's, yeah, that's not a lot, is it? I couldn't, Surprise you've lasted this You, you two went first and did loads of movement and yeah. couldn't get anything. So. But you have cheese. I, I have so much cheese. The trouble is I don't have a lot of basic resources apart from it's, clay. It's yeah, I've, I've scary sort of chewed through them now. So. Although we now got a new one. And also, for terms of victory points, this is the one... This is the biggest island. Yeah. Is this the biggest island? Yeah. That's not the biggest island because it's a seven. Yep. But it's also dangerously close to her, so if we get enough... Oomph. I won't go that high. Although she's only going to get rid of coastal. So that's yeah. Not really no, but she also that. kills people... And it, People. Only kill people in a coastal area. In a coastal, area. Just can't coastal be a coastal areas. area. Yeah. Or mountains. So, you can do a yeah, lot of goat, I mean, do a lot goat farming. That, right that's safe. That's a lot of goats. So I think I'm going to do a... Yeah, but if I do that, then I can't do that. Okay, first action is I'm going to produce. Okay, I get three milk for my three goats. I then kill the three goats. Oops. Uh, to get three horns and three meat. And then I don't bother turning the milk into cheese because I don't have any wood. Right. That's my first action. My second action is a double move. What's he doing there? He got left behind. I forgot about him. Um. So the first one is to go one, two, three. And then my second one is to go... Wasn't that just two, Paul? One, two... Oh yeah, sorry. One, two... Yeah. So you have got another move Three there. back on the boat. Three... To put him somewhere else. To go here. Yeah. Okay. And then my second set of movements is uh, one, uh, two, and three. Okay. So I'm going to pick up these two. Which is three stone, three obsidian. And then I'm going to do some sacrificing. Conquistadors? Because I've got four conquistadors. So you could just get rid of And I've got loads of meat here. So I'm going to put three meat, three goat's meat on there. Yeah. Um, Now, what are we going to be able to do in here, or, or not? I don't even know what my cards are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, sort of, neither of them matter, really. So I think it's just how many points can we get down. There's a nice sort of obsidian, but there's also conquistadors to kill. Oh, that's it. I've got, so I've got three obsidian here. Yeah, you can do that one. I can do that one as well. So three obsidian... Three goats meat. Uh, I mean, is the salted pork? So we're never going to be able to get that. No. So I put three on there. There's your two. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's and a good point. I'll put one on there for the goat horns. Okay, switch them out for your pieces. So we don't oh, yeah, yeah. And done. Boom, boom. Right, that's it. That's, that's my... Two actions, double moves, all sorts of stuff. Yeah. Right. All right. Have okay. You got, have you got another action to do? No, my first action was to uh, okay. do that stuff, which, was, okay. yeah. which got me the meat that I needed for so that. My oh. first action, because it's gone back around this way now, uh, be a double move. So, I think we're going to go one. Uh, 
two, three. Get off my island. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I'll take. Taking both of those things. Yep. And the wood of the other one. Okay, so that's three and three. Three stone. Can you flip that wood token from me, please, Chris? Yeah, please, Paul. Wood token? Oh, yeah. you're here as well. It is uh, age plus two, so you get five wood for that. Nice. Wow. nice. A lot of wood. Right, then my second. Oh, and I'll build a goat farm. Where my leader is, please, and take two goats. Second move. Can you all race into that big island? Uh? Yep, yeah, we'll grab as much of it as we can. The only place that's safe. Uh, so, what is it the biggest island with the most settlements, or the most settlements? The most the controlled settlements building on a, the biggest island. Building a canoe, please. Okay. Hold it here, so that's one. Two, three. We'll take that. Let's make three more stone. Wait, I'll stick another plans. another one down there, please. Another another goat farm. Not taking the goats. Not though. taking the goats. Yeah. No. Oop, bum, bum. Okay, that was my first. All done. Well done, yeah. Back yet? Back Sorry. to you. Sorry. Um, well, I will double produce in the fishing, which gives me six of that. I get two for the first one. Two for the second one. I'm not going to do that. So that's that. Uh, Something. Ditch those two. It's worth it. I quite like that one. Let's just keep it simple. All right. So we will then. Got cheese. Got a lot of cheese. We'll do the cheese thing. Do you want some cheese? Nah. It's overrated. <laughs> I'm finest, lying. I love cheese. Finest um, Wensleydale. Yeah. Famous for coming from the Canary Islands, I think. Okay, so I'm going to move. We'll explore. One. Do. That's it. That's it. Okay, you're done. Yep. Right, my first action is I'm going to spend two stone to buy this card, which gets me an idol. Could I have a, another idol, please? Thank you. Oh, it was two. Did you want for the change? That's right. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, I need to look at what that one does. I'm going to do that instead. Aha! Okay. Right. 
Um, Oh, I've just misread the stupid board. I forgot the fish is not even in, is no, it? No, we do not need the fish. Oh, why do I spend a cylinder on that? Oh, fiddlesticks. Fiddlesticks. Um, not too much food now. <laughs> Anyone want any fish? No. No. Sure. Let's swap it you for cheese. Oh, well. Um, oh. Let's go to spoils. Oh, that was such a waste. I'm not even sure what to do. I'm going to move again. So that one's going to go there. This is the only resource left. Uh, and that one's going to go there. And we'll move that on there just for a laugh. Okay, and then I'm going to build settlement. <laughs> settlement, 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 settlement. <laughs> <laughs> which is three obsidian, which is of no use whatsoever. I wanted stone. Ah, I'm not getting involved with this. this is just, I'll let you two fight it out. Oh no, Rob's got it. Yeah, he's got he's got the most settlements and he's got the most number of pieces continually connected. Can't do anything about that. And there's no points for second place on these. It's just first place. Can um, just check how many more goat farms. There's not. There's none left. We've no. got. One, two, three, four. All six are on the board, I think. Okay. Oh, no, there's one here. There but one it did say that these were removed. I thought those were these ones. Oh, that's those ones. Right, okay. Yes, yeah, so we've got one farm, one goat farm that have been removed from the game. Right, okay. So there's one corn farm and one goat farm that's left. Yeah. Um, I think I'll skip my second action. Okay, so I'm going to do a... Uh, First action is going to be a double activation here to get those two out. So that's a wood, an obsidian, and a clay. Let's get this count. Yeah, yeah, wood, obsidian, clay to free up them. And I'm going to do a double move action. Um, so it's going to be first one is going to be one, two. Three. I thought you were going to sacrifice him then. <laughs> and then I'll build the last goat farm. Yeah. There, please. So they're not contiguously connected. Yep. Yet. Yet. There may be some other movement going on. And then one. Oh, you've done a cylinder. Right. Two. Three. No way to be. I haven't got enough places now. Don't forget, guys. I know. I've got loads of actions left to. All right. Yeah. Yeah. True. I'll just take the. Oh, back again. Sorry. Yeah. Just got a feeling if that card does what I think it does. Oh no, it's just animals. Fair enough. Sorry. Thank you. you can go away then. Okay. Me. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, because that was two actions, that and then that. Right, that'll juice. So, three goes in there. Two of those. Two of those. Do I want to make any more flour? Not really. I've got enough food to waste. Um, so, that's the first one. Second one would be an explore. One, two, three. And I will do an offer. Okay, what are you going to do? So, cereal. Yep. Roasted. Flour. Nice. And might just you know, one more and it's cause, done. Because it's out there. I can't 
do. Well, I could have done that. You could sacrifice this one, but then you'd be out of the game. We well, could no. sacrifice this one. To do it? You'd, do, you'd even get the majority on there. To get the two points, wouldn't you? You'd get the two points. We're well, both getting two. It would deny, it would deny Paul one. It would deny me one point. Unless Paul sneaks in there and does it himself. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to do it. You're going to sacrifice one of your uh, own people. It's been very good. There you go. But it's time. There you go. So both of them have been appeased. Oh, we should get these back. Yep. Yeah. That actually makes sense. Yeah, I thought it did at that time because it's not going to lose you any points. I'm not, I can't get the contiguous benefit. No. Because Rob's just dominated that. And yeah. I'm not on the biggest island, so these are out for me. Yeah. All done. Uh, that's that's the two. This is back to Paul. Yep. Right. Yep. So I'm going to use this action. I'm going to sell this idol to get any one resource. The resource I'm going to get is a salt. And then I'm going to use my second action to spend my two salt with my discount to buy this, which gets me an idol. <laughs> Done. And now I need to look okay. at what this one does. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm going to spend two clay and two stone. Take that last idle card, please. The last this one. Oh, oh yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, the artisan's market has been used up, quite hasn't a it? bit, yeah. yeah. Very good. Right. And then I'm going to take a move action. Uh huh. And we're going to go one. Two, three, onto that onto there. Part, please. So you can defend against the conquistadors. Yep. Because he's tooled up. Because you got tooled up. Yep. He's armed to the teeth. Okay. Uh, that was my two. So we'll go with it. Yep. I will do this action. Yeah, it's tricky to say what kind of game this is, but I wouldn't have said this is anything like Robinson Crusoe. I can see why people are feeling that, but it's. It's not. That's a cooperative survival struggle game. This is. It's be more. It will be more cooperative -y if we weren't backstabbing it. Yes. If, if, if playing if we playing the, the purely the cooperative game. Yeah. It'd be very different. Yeah. Right. So I've got this uh, idle card. I'm okay. Need to remove two of these tiles. Which you can do now, or at the yeah, end of the game. Yeah. Now. Do it now. Um, so if I remove the. Um, Those two. The stone. Yep. Yeah. It means we're, that, both, we're both going to then lose two points instead of lose both losing one point. I think. That probably makes more sense. Because we've both got four stone counters. There we go. Yeah, that's yep. like I have. Yeah. There we go then. Sold. Yeah, oh, was, yeah no, so we, we haven't got a Monopoly, so we, didn't, no one, we, didn't, we don't lose anything. I think it's tight, isn't it? Well, well, I thought it was just if any one person was ahead of everyone else. Uh, the survivor or survivors with the most tokens loses points. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's called Monopoly, but two people can yeah can that's like Monopoly in that way. All right, so that's that's my one action. The other action is going to be now. What can I do to get points? That's what I'm wondering now as well. Yeah, so like I've, got, I've got a load of actions left. But... What am I missing? Fighting, but I'm going to need weapons, which I don't have. And you're probably going to stick them. Um, I've got two actions left, so I could. Yeah, the question is what's in all of those. The trouble is, there's no animals left. They're pretty. Yeah. Really animals have been depleted, yeah. and I've got all these action points, and yeah, nothing there's to really. Not a lot to do, is there? Yeah. Don't want any more food. So I'm worried about triggering the, the waste. So I'm going to skip for the minute. So I've just done one action. I'm going to skip for the moment while I think it through. Okay, back to me. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to play... Mm, this is... I'm going to sell this idol mm -hmm. for a resource of my choice. <sighs> See, I got the stuff now and I don't need it now. Mm. Uh, let me sell it for some roasted wheat. 
and I'm going to skip my second direction. Okay, I'm going to activate here, and I'm going to convert two goats mm -hmm. into... So you get two milk. Yep. And then you're going to convert them both into stuff. You're going to make some cheese? Uh, should we make cheese? Yes, let's convert that milk into cheese. Yeah, make more cheese than pulp? Nope. No one. It's not possible. It's not possible to make more. <laughs> I have 12 cheese. I did have more earlier. You did, yeah. Well, I'm just going to do a move. Yep. Oh, I'm not sure I'll do the double move. Pop next door. Here. Yep. Duff those up. Give them a violent stabbing. Yep. By spending the two horns I just got. Yep. That's a point which gets you. me there. No point. So you yellow, yeah. And then... Uh, move back in again for the second. Because you used the cylinder. cylinder. Yeah. Yep. Done. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Nice and easy. Quick, quick point. I'm going to sell an idol, destroy an idol, or sell an idol, whatever we call it. Sell it. So that's gone. That's you don't gone. keep that. Yeah. yeah. Out of the way. Um, it's because it's useless. It was reproduce animals. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> Useful at a certain yeah. point in the game, but not now. Not quite now. Um, I think I'm going to... I'm just going to whack one in there. Don't know what else to do, and then I'll skip again. <sighs> God, we had to do something. So I'm going to play this as an idol, which allows me to reproduce. That's the one I wanted. Not the animal one. As normal. That goes there. Okay. Um, and then skip. Uh, so what can I do? Um, That's what I'm struggling with now. Yeah, everything's just all in place. That's what I don't want to pass it to actually, but then there's nothing else I can actually do, is it there? It might be the most efficient thing to do. I can't think of how you get points other than yeah. fighting. And you've done that. And I've done that. everyone out. No I'm actually going to, I think I'm just going to pass this. I don't think there's anything more I can, I'm not missing any actions here, am I? No. No, it's literally, no, use an idle, sell yeah. an idle, but we're, we're at that point. You can build a wall. Um, We've not really seen any, the like walls a... because the way that the calamities have come out for us, the catastrophes, it, it, yeah. it, it's been on places which hasn't really affected us. But there is a part of the game which you've not seen, where you can build walls or protect yourself, like burning the locust with fire and things like that. But yeah, we've not seen that in this so game. So the walls help with the conquistadors' attacks? Or yes. They will, but you don't get the points for killing them. Oh, okay, so yeah. it's just so the deflection. They, they, run, they see the wall and they go, no, oh, no. they run away. They're heavily fortified, uh, go away. Are there any points for building walls? No. Well, um, I, no, none, I, of the, none of the victory point cards would have it. The Secret game. objectives might be, they're not points at the end of the game. Oh, every noble still alive. Common just one. Yeah. Quick check. Honestly, think. So the points at the end of the game are. Uh, so the secret objective cards. Yeah, so are there any. Settlements under control, non perishable food, basic goods, uh, population, fewest conquistadors in prison, fewest animals of a kind in settlements, and then other, which is idols and artisan cards. Which okay. are, so the top three things we're all the most of. The bottom things are fewest animals, fewest goats, fewest conquistadors, fewest people, uh, fewest idols, and fewest okay. artisan cards. Um, yeah. Because all I'm on is, yeah, I'm basically massively habit habiting these, but there's nothing we need to do with them. I could shift them around to gather a few more extra resources. But you're going to use these to fight off these and get more yeah, points, aren't you? Yeah, I'm done, I pass. I think I'm going to do the same. I can't think of anything to do, so... It's all in these games where I've got actions well, left to take. Yeah, it's just, I, I have an action I can do. I'll pass. Just which is to move to there. Which means I've now got the same number as Rob on that one. So I get two points. I've got five and you've got three. I've got five. Most number of pieces contiguously connected. Is it pieces? That's the tiles. number of pieces. Uh, That's the most number of settlements. Okay. 
So it's pieces, then fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah, you misunderstood. Yeah, that's fine. I thought it was hexes. Yeah. But to be fair, you had that anyway, but it was. Because you had five and five. They weren't, they weren't oh, connected. They weren't together. Oh, yeah, good point. Yeah. So. so he's going to wander into there to have a word. Yeah. You're going to do some trading? Uh, well, so, geez. There's just not much really to go for, is there? Well, I don't know. You, you might have Depends played... Depends on what these are, yeah. yeah no, I know if that's yours... I know, yeah, I, know, I know what they are. If that is for the most cheese, you might want I some cheese from me. I think what I'm doing is the right thing here. So, Technically, I could move one person off from there. Uh, Where? There, because... Well, not now, because you've passed. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've, I've been delaying until you passed. Oh, fair, oh, fair enough. But do you want to trade? Is there anything that you've got that will help you... No. No. I, know, I know what those two are and there's nothing okay. to do about them. Right, so we are done. I kind of forgot what mine are. I think. <laughs> yeah, we, do, we do the end of the age. Oh, yeah. that was a messy end. I didn't need to do that. Oh, no, I did. Oh, in fact, I've stolen two points from you. Breeding. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. I had, <laughs> that was totally unplanned. Um, was. Yeah. Breeding here. Breeding of animals. They no, they're all dead. They're all dead. Right, feeding of people. I now need to feed six people. Three, four. Well, there's three milk. One, two, three, four, five. And two cheese. That'll do. Fed. Has everybody fed? All fed. Yeah. So nobody loses any points. Oh, no, there's three. Actually, what am I doing? Oh, dear. This is bad. I've overproduced. Because I, I thought the fish I had to offer. Right. So that was a mistake. Can you eat them? No, not all of them. Oh, because you've got fish and you've got... Yeah, I'm triggering some wastage. You've got figs. Mm. Wastage. Yeah. Speaking of wastage... Yeah, a lot. <laughs> a lot. So you're putting six in there. Six in. Are you putting any in? No, no. I'm putting none in. <laughs> so it triggers it. Yeah. Because yep. I lose a point. You had the most. Is it one point? You lose one point. Yeah. And then we remove a number of them equal to the number of players, which is three. And you've Which means it's still over. So, so that mean it triggers again. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, is it once per hour? Just keeps triggering until it's done. The deposit has maximum capacity. Oh, if this limit bad. is exceeded, oh, yeah. If the amount of resources is still over the limit, repeat both steps. So you lose another point. I mean, it's a learning game. That's all right. <laughs> Second learning game. It's because I've just forgot about. Because you that forgot about that. Yep. I think what would be nice if I ever played this again is I, I would cover that over yeah. because I made the mistake in the last game. It'd be nice just to just to cover it over. Okay, so we've done we've done the garbage, but he gets angry. He's a, now twice. It's, it's angry twice, <sighs> I think. Yeah. Sorry team. I mean that could have caused the game to end and we all lose. <laughs> that would have been hilarious. Um Yeah. Yeah, so he his wrath goes up by oh, two because of the garbage. Right. Is there anywhere for people to sleep? Yes, because we've all got a cave. Yeah, yeah. So nobody dies due to that. Offerings. So over here, I get two points, you get one point. Yeah. Two points, one point. And he is appeased, so that goes down one. Over here, you get two points, you I get one. one point. She's appeased, goes down one. Next, we have the events. So we have the white conquistadors. They're going for this island here. They arrive and die. They arrive and they die, and you get a point. And you get the two conquistadors. Thank you. Okay. Um, then Great the grey shit. ones arrive. This is the nearest island. And there's a settlement. And there's a settlement. So they take that. It becomes a fort. And it becomes a fort. And yeah, that goes there. And then the black conquistadors arrive. Vincent and Rebecca. And you get another two. And you get another point. Mm. You've got eight conquistadors in your prison. Right, next event is... Okay, everyone back on the pile. A Corin, who didn't appear. <laughs> yep. Dead bodies. Next we have... So she she's blows there. up that port. So she blows gone. up that port. Yeah. And that's it. It's within range one. Okay. Then we have the volcano, which is range two volcano. So we'll do it. I'm not sure it's actually going to make much difference. But it's fun. Boom. So we have a volcano that is basically... Now island as well as it, or is it just a range? Oh, so I tell you what, we now have a biggest island. Ah. Uh, so I don't think any of us is going to get the points. This is how you could. Lols. I really should have thought about. If that, I thought about so. that, I could just got. 
one yeah. person in there, and that would have done it. Yeah. Well, would have done oh, it. no. Really should have thought that. That's the biggest island now. Sweet, I win. Oh. <laughs> so that's, well, actually, I still get it. You know, it's just I wasted all those people down there. Oh, that's Could have done them somewhere else. That's <laughs> crazy. Which is why you do the volcano. It's important yeah. to do it. So it's because you... We had the two lots of that. Yeah. So because you miscalculated, yeah. that went up to there, which means it was a level two volcano instead of a level one. But it, the, the net difference to, to Rob is the same yeah. outcome. I, I, got the, just, yeah, I, I got the... I, got, I, just, I yeah. just lost, I just lost yeah. two points. It did, 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 no, 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 because the contiguous is still fine. Yeah, you've got that one. Oh, yeah, I only control one settlement. Oh, right, so it didn't actually change anything. But yeah, yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just it's, okay. rather, rather than that being what scores it, it's that. So it. the biggest question is just I had five guys there, it could have been somewhere else. So we've done the events. Yep. We learn. No. And does, does the game end? No, but yes. Yes. Right, so we now do end of game scoring. What do you think in the chat? Who do you think's won? Because the points here quite tight. look yeah. very, very know, close. I know what some of these cards are, so... Oh, yeah, I forgot about uh, these. Oh, yeah. This could change everything. So, first of all, end game. We have... Well, first of all, we have to check. Do we retain control of the archipelago? So at this point in the game, <laughs> we have to look here. So we count the total number of people that we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. We have 18 people on the board, so there can be no more than 8 conquistadors. And there are... Two. Two. So, again, we're okay. playing on the easy setting. The island's ours. Right? There is a <laughs> there is two more difficulty levels above this. Yeah. Nobody in the chat is saying who they think won. Right, okay. Next. Um, the tribes with at least one villager and one noble are considered survivors. So, raw material and monopolies. I have one wood piece. Three. So it's not me. Five. So Nine Rob loses. loses two points. Yep. Next. Mountains. I've got four. 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 So we both lose two, two points. Come on. Wow. Knew I shouldn't have picked up that one. I think I've Three. Lost. Clay, I got Three. none. So you and I lose two. Yeah. Oh, no. That was painful. That was painful. Right. For every noble still alive. I have two. We both got one. Yeah. Solidarity icon, uh, idols. I've got one. I've got one. Oh, I've never seen any of those yet. <laughs> Uh, for every common objective achieved, so I, I, Rob, you've got that one. I've got that one. Yep. Yep. So two each. So two points. I was sure I was last by a country mile. I might still be. This is doing yeah. all right. But actually, if it weren't for the secret objectives, this is weird. Right. I'll do mine first. Go on. Well, we'll do the positives first. Yep. Go on. So plus two points. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For for the play with the most goat horns. You. <sighs> yeah. Got it. I None. I was lucky at keeping that one, but that was that was all part of the plan, right? Nice. Plus one, mm -hmm. the play with the most roasted wheat. Two. Two. That's why I took one at the end, so we both get one point, right? And no, I could have used other foods. Yeah. The next, but you didn't know. Yeah, I know. It's the fact that I, I suspect you took, took it. One. Yeah, but I should have. I should have. Yeah, because that you did taken one. Okay. The next plus one is. This is yours. I think it's the most. It's, well, it's for you. It's the people with the most um, farms, which is you. One point for red. By chance. Okay. Love it. So now we do negative points. So if you go for the two minus ones. Yeah, sure. We've got uh, the person with the most cheese. Two. That's so Paul. Yeah, uh, no, no, this isn't cheese. Yeah, nice no, job. no, no. It's, a, it's, it's, it's wax. It, is it wa wax cheese? <laughs> wax painted yellow. <laughs> drilled. I'll drill. Mm. So minus one point to the player with the most cheese. Mm. Yes. And minus one to the player with the most wheat. I've got four. Uh, uh, I, think okay. Paul's, I think Paul's got it, which is How sickening. have I got this? I think you're not, you're not, you got the two points off me there. and then I should not have this game, considering how bad I thought it was going. Yeah. And this Mo is a minus least, two. Minus two for the least conquistadors. Which is both of us. Yeah. We have oh, the least conquistadors, no. so we both lose two points. And that cannot <laughs> believe is that. How did I win that? How did you win the that? Safe, and this is the st uh, score track. Sorry. Oh, last one, Paul. Wait, Sorry, wait, wait. I, I had the wrong. I had the wrong view on. Completely destroy the uh, excitement from there. Sorry, that is the final scores of the game. I can I can show you it zoomed in. Wrong button. There you go. So yeah, final scores of the game. 
10 points to blue, 8 points to yellow, Closer game. 6 points Very to red. Close game. Apologies I mean, I got, for not showing that. I got hit on I didn't every single chart. one of these. Yeah. I lost 6 points from that. Because I tied, I thought, you know, I, you know, I thought I had to be ahead of everyone, but so no. it's like no. Crab, though, wasn't that it? was painful. I must lose two. Yeah. Yeah. And then just so, slipping on, yeah. That really surprised me, because until I grabbed the three resources on here, that's what I'd taken. Yeah, you only had the two. In the entire game, I had taken yeah. two tiles... And I had hardly any resources. I neglected this as well. And, and I fell... A turns where you both were getting all the points. Well, I, I didn't do anything in Era 2. Yeah. I didn't do any offerings in Era 2 at all. And I thought I'd completely... It's nice to see Completely knocked out of it. Because we kind of pillaged all the resources around your starting area, the fact you still won the game, it's quite nice to see. It's it it is nice to see, because yeah. I thought I was going to end up... Yeah. I thought I was out of the game and just get it over yeah. and done yeah. with. I, I th- thought I was going to be I'll be honest, here. I thought when I did that, I, that was it. i tell you what completely mucked me up was not getting my workers repositioned to get the breeding yeah I planned for it and then didn't actually do it yeah so I'd have had another worker I'd have more people on the map yeah. I also should really have thought about what I was going to do with that I should have spotted well that was only because JP had accidentally no, 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 produced fish I realised that even on level one it wouldn't have ruined that up but his stat was still have been bigger I should have seen oh, that and therefore just, if you just I should have just, yeah, just pulled out and seized here and said, you know, it, whether, it whether it's one or two, I'm, yeah, yeah I'll doing it. So, right, foolishly not not seeing that, that was no, going to happen because that was that was going to make a one bigger island there. Yeah. So all of that was wasted effort. So important to think ahead of. Yeah, these events are going to happen. This is how the board state is going to change, and therefore, what yeah. is that going to do? Yeah, yeah. because it's interesting. Because although this can be variable, that can be variable. What the volcano does is fixed. How big the volcano is yeah. can yeah. vary. Yep. Yeah. And the tsunami, which we only saw in the first age, because on the on the easy setting you only see, you see a tsunami in age one, and volcano in two and a volcano in three. On the other difficulty levels, you will see different ones at different times, and that yes. will change the board state. Like if you have a volcano in age one, for example, or a big tsunami in age three. But we all did a very good job, I think, of of the offerings. Yep. Which I was surprised that we did, but then of course when you remember you can do conquistadors as anything, and you can do your own people. Yeah, never thought I'd do. Why would you sacrifice your own people? But there was a case there. There was a case there that it, it wasn't it. going to do anything else, yeah. and it, it got you the extra exactly the extra points. Yeah, the extra two points. So, yeah, it's it's interesting how it how it plays out. Yeah. If we played again, we'd play on the next difficulty level up. Yeah, we? oh definitely yeah. because. Uh, at, n- at no point, I think we were we were at a risk of losing the game from this. No, no this was super yeah. manageable. Yeah. So play on the next difficulty level up. There are more events. There's yeah. there's more stuff happening. Also more chance to kill conquistadors. Uh, yeah. How does this game compare to the previous one we did today? So the previous one we did to do we did today, which as I say, if you're a patron supporter, there is a link to it uh, on the Slack channel. You can watch it if you want to. It was very much a learning game for all of us. Mm-hmm. But we played on the same difficulty level. That means we had exactly the same three cards. So we had the same events come out at the same time. What was different, though, is the cards for the gods. So what we had, and we had a slightly different board layout, but we had a tsunami in Age 1 which went off here, I think. Yeah, it was there. Yeah. But then the volcano, that ca- and, and we basically we angered this guy a lot to the point where he was red... In age two, yep. yeah. So we had a size three volcano go off in age two that covered this entire board here, right? Then the card which came out for uh, the goddess, the sea goddess, in age two for us here came out in sorry in age three. No, it came out in age two. Mm-hmm. Came out this afternoon in age three. And what that meant, and she happened to be here, made this entire island disappear. And it was actually three islands connected together mm-hmm. at that point, and it's the gone. whole thing disappeared, and we just had half of this took about, took about half a dozen conquistadors. It, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if it hadn't have taken those conquistadors with it this afternoon, we'd have lost the game. Yeah. Um, our scoring cards were different as well. The secret objectives, they they can be worth a lot of points. I, I mean, that... That swings the game. Off, that swung the game. I got, yeah. I got three points from this. Yeah. And that was pretty big. Well, it makes sense. Big three points. Although, <laughs> swing it, although I lost three. Did I lose three points? You lost two points from that one, definitely. You 
lost mm. one from the cheese. I lost one from the cheese, and I lost. Yeah, you lost three from that then. Yeah. Was that two? That was two. Yeah, because that was. So, a I, so I lost three two. points. So I gained three points, and I lost. I lost three they, points. So, so actually, balanced secret objectives balanced out. Yeah. What amount for you? Secret so objectives. I'm not sure I really gained much. So I didn't lose on that one. I lost. I didn't get anything from that one. I lost out on that one. So you lost a point. I just yeah, secret I just lost a point. But you gained. I didn't get any of them. No, you had joined the most. Oh yes. So, so you yeah. gained. So you were. You I, I, were I, I, had a net, I had a net gain of one. What? I think, I think I, that was two, wasn't it? So no, that was that was a one or a two for the for the. For oh, the that was a two. That was a two, was it? No, that was a two. Yeah. So you had a net gain of zero. Yeah, and I had this. this you got that from Rob. Chance. But you had a minus, minus, but a minus two from that. that. So you, so you were a net minus one. one. Yeah. Okay. So the the, the secret objective oh, seemed to yeah. average out. So I'd say this one, compared to the afternoon game, we had a better idea of what was going on. Yeah. Planned more, but now seeing some more of the in-depth stuff, like planning for the volcano. Yes. Because yeah. There's there's definite seeing seeing how that changed the map, recognizing mm. all that. All that action spent there was completely wasted, and I could yeah. have spent it gathering more resources here. Yeah. Shifting off on more stuff, or just trying to find more ways of producing yeah. something. Okay. So just before we disappear, what you have seen today is you've seen a three-player game using the competitive mode. There is a variant that you can play with, which is the traitor mode. So just briefly, I've not played it, but just briefly to let you know what that does. Um, it is a variant that you have to agree at the start of the game whether you're using it or not. And if you do, at the start of age three, during the first round of the action phase, players in turn order may choose to become traitors. Um, if you do so, um, oh sorry, as soon as one person has done so, the rest may not, so there can only be one traitor. Um, and then basically you get a random traitor's objective card, and yeah, there's a whole page of rules about what happens if you decide to become the traitor. Um, there's also, as I say, the harder difficulty modes, there's the solo mode, and there's then the cooperative mode. So yeah, there's plenty of different ways uh, to play it. But my job here was to show you how to play the game and show you how a game plays out with people who have played it once before. We all played it really... Uh, I, I, had, I had to dabble this morning where I learned how to play and played one round. We all played a full game this afternoon, and then we've played a full game tonight. So when you're starting to play the game yourself, if you're interested in it, your first games are are probably going to go like this. But let's just all give one tip for people on things to watch out for, things to be careful about when you're playing the game. Rob, do you want to go first? Yeah, I'd say be aware of how many points you can lose by going too heavy on the resources. By taking too yeah, many resources. I lost six points from that. Now, it gave me a very powerful game, but this time it wasn't quite enough to, to, be, to sort of yeah. put me ahead. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, be careful when you are rushing around, grabbing all of the resources, that if you grab too many, you can lose points. Yeah, I think for me, it's think about your action economy. So, training, getting your nobles in other people's villages to train and unlock these cubes early enough yeah. so that you can get more um, kind of actions throughout the rest of the game, which is what I didn't do enough on you in, didn't the do in the first game. game. And it just hampered me for the yeah. rest of it. I just couldn't do enough. Because yeah. so. when you when you learn one of these traits from another player, yeah. it obviously gives you additional options. Yeah. But more importantly, gives you that cube. it gives you the cube, which is an reusable. extra action, that you, yeah. a reusable cube that you can do. Yeah. And I think my thing is what we touched on earlier on is the events is you've got assuming that people have gone on here and you know what's happening you've really got to think about that you've really got to think i mean we we could have been looking at the board and going oh, wait a minute jp's got loads and loads of food here he's going to end up with some spoilage that's going to trigger that that's going to upset this guy mm. you can calculate certainly the tsunamis and the volcanoes and certainly the conquistadors you know exactly when they're going to happen. You know in what order they're going to happen, and you know what they're going to do. And you've got to you've got to plan for that. You've got to you've got to really plan for that and think about it at the end. But anyway, yeah, useful useful tips from people who've only played it a couple of times before. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for those people who have been watching live and keeping us company this evening. Thank you very much to Lolo for your support all day. He's been with me all day, teaching me this morning, watching <laughs> the game this afternoon, watching the game this evening. Great job with the design and good luck with the Kickstarter. Um, and yeah, if you've enjoyed the video, please give the video a like, leave me a comment. And as I mentioned at the start, if you want to support the channel directly, you can do so at patreon.com 
forward slash gaming rules. Patreon supporters get access to a community where I release a lot of behind the scenes videos and various other things, including us three learning how to play it this afternoon and a very different game. Um, but for now, we'll disappear. Take care. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Cheers, guys. So, yeah.